What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the City Life Project YouTube channel for yet another live fight companion. We are back in Japan, Rising Landmark 8 in Saga in a cage for Activate A's birthday. That's right. You don't get any sleep, brother. You don't get any sleep, but you do get a cage here tonight. You do get a cage here tonight. Who won the last play, by the way? We're waiting for the main card to start. Looks like we're having some technical difficulties on Ryzen's side. Now, this is their first broadcast on their new um, TV or their new pay-per-view service. I just bought the pay-per-view here. Ryzen.tv. Um, oh, no. Now it's in now it's just fun. Anyways, audio was coming through. Audio was coming through. We're, we're hoping to see some video here shortly. But anyway, it does say Rise and Landmark 8 will start shortly. They do have a live feed going on right now. There was audio coming through by the announcer, so looks like we're just getting that set up here. In the meantime, let's hang out in the live chat. Let's hang out in the live chat. Josh, don't buy it yet. Once they fire it up, I'll let you know. I'll give you the green light. I just paid was it 20 bucks for it but oh there is audio anyways this is their first time not on fight by the way if you're new to the channel smash that like button and subscribe we do live play-by-play -play, commentary reaction and interaction with all you amazing folks in the live chat yeah not music in the background we're, just... <laughs> we're waiting to play it out you're seeing what's happening with this now with this broadcast but again i will give you guys the green lights once we get things going um anyways welcome to the stream ladies and gentlemen welcome back to the city life project youtube channel if you're new to the channel smash that like button and subscribe as we do live play-by-play -play commentary reaction and interaction we host multiple fight companions every single weekend ladies and gentlemen big shout out to everyone who joined us for lfa earlier one championship we have some boxing later if we survive we have <laughs> ksw pfl bellator ufc tomorrow aca on sunday oh it's a crazy weekend, folks. It's a crazy weekend. Uh, the prelims just wrapped up on YouTube. Big shout to Ryzen for being able to stream the prelims on YouTube. Now, if they could just get their freaking streaming service figured out here. 
Again, the audio is coming through, but we're waiting to see some video come through here. I will let you guys know once again. Um, they get some video going. And honestly, they might just be waiting until the top of the hour, but we shall see. We shall see. What's up, Reaper Jones? What's up? Um, I was getting this ready, Hawk, from home, so I haven't checked it yet. Bought the pay-per-view $20 to support the best rule set in MMA. Worth it. What's up, Arter? Syrup? Manash. What's going on, Manash? Good to see you. Hockey from home. I have never seen you once donate or buy a membership, but I I appreciate the sentiment. I want my theme to be done by Andrew. Dude, me too, to be honest. Japanese YouTube video is working. Uh, is there a fight going on right now? Am I missing this fight? I was going to buy, but realized it's $20, so I'm not going to buy. Sakai won. Damn. I'm not doing too good in my predictions right now. Not doing too good in my predictions. One for three right now, my predictions. City Life Project back in your life. Fight is on. Which fight, Shin? Okay, I'm just going on YouTube right now. Screw this. That's craziness. Okay, they're just showing the fight right now. Yeah, round one. All right, well, screw this. What the hell? Yeah, round one, two minutes and 34 seconds on the clock. All right, I guess we're just streaming this right now. That's so annoying, dude. That's so annoying. All over the Renegade Show. Any taps? Just in time, too, ladies and gentlemen. Just in time, too. What a finish. What a finish. Oh, my goodness. The rosin pick sucks. What else is new? Taxman came. Funk, honestly, buddy, I'm still trying to figure out um, getting this pay per view going, man. I'm only ready to 10 subscribers. Let's go. Taxman came, coming and ate my wallet. He just got tapped, ladies and gentlemen. Wow. Good timing. Good timing. I bring up YouTube and we see a finish back mount softening him up here. Body, not even body triangle. Has both of the hooks in and gets that rear naked choke. How come I only hear audio but I can't see the fight? See, I, I, I'm not sure. Incredible production. <laughs> Hank loves to, to dunk on Ryzen. Um, oh, man. I knew there'd be hic I knew there'd be hiccups in their first one. Oh, oh, we got it. We got it. We got it, baby. We got it. Let's freaking go. Let's freaking go. Let's freaking go. Okay, it's like a second behind the YouTube, but we got it now, Dylan. We got it. It is back. It is back. Okay, give me one sec. One sec, Funkmaster. One sec. Stream is up, baby. Let's go. Oh, maybe I was watching replay. Maybe I was watching replay. Okay, sounds good, hockey from home. Okay, so... Okay, so now, okay, we have audio as well. We have audio, we have video, we have a pay-per-view, ladies and gentlemen. All right, it very well could be. All right, we have a broadcast. Okay, I just want to tell you guys, I applied for this position and I didn't get it. I'm a little salty. They told me I had to learn Japan. Or Japanese. There you go. Maybe that's why I didn't get it. 
<laughs> Maybe they only saw my ASMR shit when they looked me up and they're like, yeah, fuck this guy. Looking so forward for my picks to lose in embarrassing fashion. Hey, well, we ride together. We die together. Okay, so for Funkmaster Sanity here, let's uh, quickly take a look on Tapology. First, yeah, first fight card of 2024 for Ryzen. Let's go, baby. Ryzen.tv almost didn't happen there, boys. Almost didn't happen. Okay, Cage Warriors. Tapology hasn't updated anything, dude. So I have no idea who's winning and losing. Yo, JK, one of our exclusive members. What's going on? Josh, we're good to go. The stream is good. There's audio. There's video. If you want to buy it, it's there. Just cop the pay-per-view. Me too. What's up, HM? One of our exclusive members. They don't deserve you. I need to know if Chase Blair is fighting already. Uh, who's watching Cage Warriors right now? Is Chase Blair fighting already? Boom, 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 boom. Nah, dude. Ryzen's amazing. The superior rule set. Konnichiwa. What's going on, brother? I learn Japanese and Russian with Isha. I don't know. I don't know if I'll be able to learn Russian, but I'm definitely going to learn Japanese. All right. So nine fights, nine fights on here on this main card, guys. You ready to go? Nine fights, and I believe the intermission is at after fight eleven. <laughs> it's not Saturday for me yet. It's still Friday hockey from home. I'm on central time. Uh, Winther and Goodale are in a third round blood match in Cage Warriors. The rule set, the announcer, Lene Hart, the walkouts, um, the production in Japanese, not in English. <laughs> Uh, Josh, pull. It's uh, Ryzen.tv. I'm ready for a heart attack. Josh, I don't have one. And it's this one's really hard to find, unfortunately. Hope everyone's healthy mentally and physically. Thank you, JK. Hope you are too, my man. Trust me, Josh. I would have dropped it already for you, dude. Sorry for you. 6 a.m. gang. Let's go. Yo, Merlin, what's going on? <laughs> sit alive, sit alive. I'll learn Japanese and Russian with you. Mm, mm, mm. Thanks, JK Elemental P. Yeah, I checked everywhere, dude. I, I I can never find it. I know JL. JL was goaded one point because he was able to find it. But I can I can never find it. All right. We're hoping for a sake win here, guys. We're hoping for a sake win. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Josh, we couldn't find it in the meth. We couldn't find it in the Krizak. I couldn't find it anywhere. Spicy noodles, hockey from home. Spicy freaking noodles, hockey from home. <laughs> nope. You know, I got tacos and they were too spicy and just had so much cheese on it. Hawk, hockey from home, you, you're talking like that's a bad thing. You're, you're talking like that's a bad thing. That's a good thing. That's a good thing. There's actually a pretty, uh, a pretty good crowd so far. Pretty good crowd so far. Nice stage for them to walk out on. And again, it's Activate A's birthday. So it's a cage, not a ring.
Oh, apparently the app is on mobile. Oh, shit. And we have a break. And we have a break. In typical Rise in fashion, uh, Saki Kabara-san is in the cage addressing the audience. We didn't have the opening ceremony already, did we? I don't think we did. See, this is where the uh, the announcer should be telling us what he's saying. But as I'm saying, Ryzen, they should just hire me, bro. They should just hire me. This Ryzen stream free version is surely going to end any second the announcer is speaking. No, it's going to end right before the first fight. Love me a cage, F the ring. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, see that I, I used to make fun at I used to make fun of Shane, not make fun of Shane, but poke at Shane a little bit for putting cheese on his ramen. And then I put cheese on my ramen and I was like, oh my god, you guys were right. All right. So okay, I, I believe the opening ceremony is gonna come up here next, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, never mind. I think they already had the opening ceremony. So it looks like we're cold open for the first fight is coming up next year. Yeah, it's a good thing the break wasn't too long. And Ruhi Sakai already fought, so that was a... F oh, no. Oh, here, here's the opening ceremony. They, they just showed that a little too soon. That was just a little premature there. Oh, never mind. He is making his walk out here. I got to turn this up a bit. There we go. So this fight already happened. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Dude, Lene Hart, what an absolute beauty. What an absolute beauty. All right. Tommy Naga against Tarada is the first fight. Opening up this main card here. I got a few notes on them. I got a few notes on them, so I'll share them here with you guys. For this one, I have uh, Takumi Tarada. He is the big favorite on this one. He's the big favorite on this one. Both of them are very talented. Both of them are polished. Both of them like are pros. Neither of them are, are, are amateurs. Both of them... Both of them are really good. Tarada, he's got beautiful hooks. His left hook and his and and his counter punches are his path to victory. Uh Tominaga recovers quick, tough, and he has some beautiful straight punches as well. Um, this should be a great fight. It is a kickboxing fight. Tarada was minus 400 the other day. He was minus 400 on Thursday, by the way. So he was the pretty big favorite. Um, despite him being the big favorite, I don't know. I, I kind of see this being a close fight. I kind of see it being a good back and forth fight as uh, Tarada can take a bunch of damage, but not get knocked down, not get put out easily. But uh, anyways, I'm going with the guy with the big hook and big hooks and counter puncher over the guy who gets hit and, and, and though he recovers quickly, he gets hit and leaves that chin a little too wide open for me. So going with Tarada here, that is my pick, locking it in. Let me know your picks in the live chat as well. I choose Tommy Naga. I want this legendary ring announcer at my funeral. She agreed to come on the podcast. Um... Yeah, Lene Hart, she agreed to come on the podcast. She also voiced um, intros to Tekken. <laughs> Other just say wrong when she's on it. Nice. <laughs> so yeah, we'll see. Keep Keep me updated on when the free version ends.
Oh, shout to Alpha Zeta. Shout to Alpha Zeta. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's so weird. A Ryzen fight. <laughs> a Ryzen fight card in a cage. I'm still not used to it. But not a bad size arena here. In Saga. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba, the Saga Arena. And fighters are being announced in the center of the cage right now. Saga Arena. How many people? Tommy Naga, 4, 2, and 1 as a pro. 17,000 people? Jeez. This is dope that's still on YouTube. It might end right before the fight starts, main card minute. I'm just saying. This is usually how they get you. No, it's all good. It's all good. <laughs> fight 2, poof. Karate combat finished. Freed up one monitor. Atta boy. All right. The 23-year-old Tarada against the 22-year-old Tominaga. All right. First fight on the main card. Kickboxing. Let's get it on. Round one. Let's, let's freaking go. Let's get it on. Three three minute rounds here, and already them throwing some hard hooks. Tominaga in the blue corner, nice right hand by Tominaga. Do each of them have speed? Straight left by Tominaga. Oh, straight left by Tarada. He answers right away. Double left jab by Tarada. Tarada forcing Tominaga into the cage. Big body shots. Ref separates them. Nice. Well, it looks like you guys uh, get that six fight. Oh, big left hook. Big left hook and a knockdown. Big left hook and a knockdown. Oh, my goodness. Tommy Naga got knocked down there. Getting the count. He's good to go. We are back. Right hand by Tominaga. Tominaga with a left and a right. Good high guard by Tereda. Oh my goodness, Tereda with a counter and knocks down Tominaga again. Huge left hook by Tereda and Tominaga. He sees the Tweety Birds here. This is his second knockdown. I think it's K1 rules. This is kickboxing. One minute and 16 seconds, spinning heel kick to the body. And Tarada evades those shots of Tominaga, and Tominaga slips and falls. No, he got shot with a hook there on the back foot, and it is all over. It is all over. And it is all over. That was the third knockdown. It is all over just like that, ladies and gentlemen. Takumi Tarada. And I get back in the win column, baby. I get back in the win column, baby. That's a TKO. <laughs> Walked away for one minute and it's done. Dunzo. So quick. Dude, his hooks are nasty. What did I say about his hooks, though? Dude, and he just clips him here. Wow. <laughs> Let's go. What's up, Joe? Good to see you. What fight just happened? Who wants? Takumi Tarada just won. It's up on screen here, buddy. Why are you pissed? 
A logical outcome in Rise and Blast for me. Good stuff by Tereda. Nice shot. Hank the Tank is back and he's an exclusive member. Let's go. Hockey from home. You can buy one yourself. Just some Japanese ad. Nice target audience, Isha. <laughs> First leg, my parlay. Let's go. I won my soccer bet. Let's go, buddy. Dylan, I'm so glad you won your soccer bet. Hank the Tank 6. <laughs> I'm back in business, baby. Come from Kaposa. Two main card fights are free. Hey, there you go. There you go. Dylan's treating everyone today. What a guy. I am Hank the Tank 6. Fear me. <laughs> You'll get there soon, hockey. <laughs> ASMR got me snoozing. Wake up. Damn, that's a bummer. Reaper Jones thought we were getting the whole thing. I just paid 20 bucks for it, so I'm not going to lie. <laughs> if, if you guys all got it for free on YouTube, I'd be a little bit mad. Now this Ryzen stream is worth it regardless of what happens. Look at that. Hank the Tank, what a beauty. Just bleed, baby. Pay hockey from home $10 so she can donate $10. <laughs> All right. We got the cold open for the Yuki Ito fight. By the way, who won in the Ruhei Sakai fight? Who won in the last fight, guys? Who won in the Ryoga, Fukuchi, and Sakai fight? Well, no chill MMA. Good for you. I'm glad you found a link. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Don't know how long it will last. Video stalls for a bit. God, I love the cold opens, man. So we got uh, Ueda versus Yuki Ito coming up next year. Bum, 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 bum. This one honestly should be a good fight. This one should be a fun one. Let me update the ticker on the bottom of the screen. Uh, Matoshi Ueda, Ueda making his debut in Ryzen. And I know the promotion, they want Yuki Ito to do well. They want Yuki Ito to do well. New Year's Eve in Tokyo to watch some fights is on, is on my bucket list, dude. I want to go there so bad. I want to do that so bad. It's the Kai one? Let's go. Cool. Thank you, JD. Okay, so here are my picks, guys. Here are my picks. Mm -mm 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 -mm. So not bad so far. Not bad so far. I am two and uh sorry, three and three. Three and three. Okay, well we'll help you out. Um Dylan, if you can, if you if you end up finding it, um help Reaper Joan Jones out in the lot in uh, the Discord. Jason Blair just beat his opponent bad. You'll probably see that on Twitter later. I guess McGrath just said that too. Share, uh, if you guys see like Composer or someone share the highlight to it in, on Twitter, share it in the Discord. But yeah, you got one more fight on YouTube. One more fight on YouTube. Mm -mm -mm. Zach Jones becomes a member and I can put it in the Discord. The Blair finish was nasty. All right, let me tee up the ticker. Oh, we already have the ticker on this one. Okay, let's highlight these next two fighters, guys. And again, appreciate everybody watching here. You guys are awesome. 
There you go. Funk Master. He TKO'd his opponent. Let's go. The Blair finish was nasty. Okay. Matoshi Ueda, who's uh who just made his walkout. 19 and 9. We're 19 9 and, and 2 as a pro. As there's a lot more draws in Japan, I find. He is two and three in his last five fights. He is coming off a win, though. He is coming off a win. Three KO TKOs, three submissions, 13 decisions, 13 wins in Palm Crace, four wins in Gladiator. Beat a four and three guy in his last fight. You know, nothing really special there. Plus two 14 and four guy, four and no. Oh. Beat a seven and two guy. Beat a 10 and 4 guy, but both of those wins were by split decision, right? Both of those wins here, I'll let you guys take a look. Both of those wins were by split decision. For so again, nothing, nothing really special. He is a he's a veteran who's okay in grappling, okay in striking, but not really great anywhere. Where Yuki Ito, 15 and 5, he's he's pretty good on a two-fight win streak. On a two-fight win streak, three and two in his last five fights, 26 years of age, so still some time to develop. Seven KOTKOs, two submissions, six decisions, five and one in rise, and seven and four in deep. And on a two-fight win streak right now, mind you, not against the best opponents, not a bit against the, the best opponents, and he too got a split decision a win against a nine and five guy in his last fight. Before then, lost to a freaking three and five guy, which is unacceptable. And then lost to a 10 and two guy in deep. So both of them kind of have whack records. Don't get me wrong. But I'm going with Yuki Ito. He is the favorite at minus 450. Um,. Ueda doesn't have the best takedown defense. Not that I think Yuki Ito is going to be taking him down. Uh, Ito has decent grappling, good striking. This is either going to be a striking war back and forth or someone's going to get a KO. But I do think Ito has the speed and power advantage. Um, and yeah, Ueda's plus 300. We're going with Yuki Ito. I'm, I'm locking it in again. This guy's got a great tattoo. Because I almost threw up. What are you talking about? Because of the Leafs? Mm -mm -mm. Ogden Holmes going with the favorite. Uh, Ryzen, the only promotion where a mismatch isn't a mismatch with the rule set. Any dog can win a good uh, on a good night. Absolutely. Oh, no, Jules is saying it's on YouTube. All right, round one here, ladies and gentlemen. Mixed martial arts. Let's get it on. Let's get it on. Four minutes and 40 seconds on the clock. Outside low kick by Ueda. Ito, just so much bigger than him, too. And Ito with the body lock. Ito looking to take this to the ground. Holding on to the arm here of Ueda. JD's at 4.30. I'm at 4 minutes and 19 seconds now. Couple shots to the body here by Ito. Okay, we're pretty close. I'm like eight seconds off you, JD. Sound? No, it's all good, Hockey from Home. We'll see you in a little bit. Still pushing up against the cage is Ito. Three minutes and 45 seconds on the clock. Oh, she'll be back, Hank. She'll be back. Come on, Ryzen. Let's, let's get in there, ref. Let's get in there, ref. So it looks like Ueda's holding on to the left arm of Ito here. And Ito doesn't quite have the body lock. 
Dude, I thought they were just going to honestly scrap. I didn't think there's going to be any grappling here. Yeah, I mean, but Luke is a fan of the channel. He knows that I don't like the Leafs. Get ready for a time hack. I'm curious. All right, ref separates them. Thank goodness. The refs are actually quick to separate, guys. <laughs> Mason Jones entering the cage. High kick attempt there by Ueda. Oh, and a nice left to the body by Ito. Ito looking to get that body lock. Swing and a miss with a low kick by Ito. High kick swing and a miss by Ueda. Two minutes and 35 seconds on the clock. Two minutes and 25 seconds. Well, he, if he doesn't know, now he should know hockey from home. Two minutes on the clock. Honestly, you guys are getting the better product with the Japanese broadcast versus the English. That's all I'm going to say. Good footwork here by Ito. As a way to hasn't hit him with anything really. Outside low kick by Ito. Well, I thought Luca just joins us hockey from home. One minute and thirty three seconds. Nice left to the body by Ito. And a way to desperately looking for a takedown by Ito. Good takedown defense. It's only 20 seconds in our favor, but it's our last fight. This bout is ass. Dude, I honestly thought this one was going to be a banger, too. Wow. Q Hank the Tank. <laughs> After three long years, hockey eats at last. 55 seconds on the clock. And Ueda desperately looking for that first takedown, but he's not going to get it. Ito. Knees planted. And good takedown defense. Three hours later. Yep, this is a decision win. Yeah, I thought someone was getting knocked out. Because like... Wade is grappling. I'm not impressed by your performance. As you can see here. So I thought Ito would just... Well, I mean, Ito's kind of forcing him. I mean, not in this case necessarily, but overall in the fight has forced him to stay on the feet. But it kind of looks like Ito wants that entry with that body lock as well. Anyways, that's it for the first round. Thank goodness first rounds aren't 10 minutes like the old Pride days. If you use five inches of cheese, it takes a while to melt. Bro, that's like that's like this much cheese. Let me fill in for one of these so we can end this. Ishi, you know uh, in that LFA women's title fight, the girl that got choked out Lopez peed herself when she was getting choked. Just saw it on Twitter. Dude, there was someone in our live chat. There was someone, uh, Habib is a bum in our live chat. He said that. He said that. Activate it. Hit me up with the, the link on Twitter because I'll probably make a video on that because that shit's crazy. You should be meaning to ask you, did you buy a separate soundboard keyboard? Just hit sound bites? Yeah, I have like a it's for on site. It's I have it's called the Pod Track P8. That's what I use. <laughs> All right, round two, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go. Oh, 
Kind of a yeah, she literally squeezed the piss out of her. Oh, I haven't done one yet, but I should. No, I just oh big shot. Oh, clash ahead there. I thought it was a I thought it was a, a punch there. It was that clash heads? No, I'm just like they don't even ask. I just try to be respectful. Gamebird Bear Knuckle MMA is so good. My favorite product right now. Yeah, I, I've watched every single one. I just haven't streamed them yet. Oh, ooh, ouch. So he was going for a takedown and Ito's forehead lands on his head there. The production quality in this stream is elite. All right, I'll have to check that out. Honestly, Chase Sherman holds some gold. Let's go, Chase Sherman. Yeah, so the forehead hit the back of Ueda's head. Oh, that right side. Ouch. Yeah, um, it, it just sucks because, like, my office is right under my roommate's room. So, And it's just an older house, so the, the walls are thin and... And they have family visiting because it's, um, because they're getting in, they're engaged, they're getting married soon, and it's Hannah's in, uh, bridal shower this weekend. So there's some family in town, and here I am, rising weekend, hooting and hollering. <laughs> I don't know how it gets worse than that. Ouch. I just feel a little dirty watching the Roy Nelson main event. Dude, big country still killing it, bro. Can you throw a head first uh, in Ryzen like Pike style? No, that's a no, no, normal promotions. I don't think you can head button Ryzen. All right, we're back. We're back. Four minutes and 15 seconds on the clock in the second round. Not biting on any of Ito's feints is Ueda. Pride rules, but you're allowed to use elbows. Oh, oh, um, I don't think so. Nope, that's a Valley Tudo special headbutts galore. Yeah, yeah, no, I don't think you can. Roy Nelson could still be a lot of current. Could beat a lot of current UFC heavyweights. Oh, I think so too. Oh, nice left to the body there by Ito. I think so too, and the guy's almost 50 freaking years old. That's how bad UFC heavyweight division is right now. Oh, yeah, and stomps to the face, soccer kicks. Knees to the face. It's amazing. I just hope he likes the video at the end of the day. Oh, a nice left of the body followed by a right hand by Ito. Two minutes and 52 seconds on the clock. Two minutes and 42 seconds. Looking to clinch here, Zueda. And now Ito pushing Ueda up against the cage. Yeah, honestly, right now it's like Aspinall, Pavlovich. We've already seen how that fight turns out, but or turned out. Hopefully that Robellus Despain turns out. That would be amazing to have him pan out as well. And maybe there'll be a few good heavyweights from this year's crop of contender series. Pretty much, HM. Pretty much. And there used to be a rule where you're allowed to wear wrestling shoes, but you aren't allowed to throw knees as a result. Well, he should be here, Hawker from home. There you go. 
Exactly that. <laughs> Lucas said, you know, the past and salad kind of guy. The RDR match has me excited. Yes, me too. So excited. I could maybe pee myself. I'm super excited for the generation of fighters that will come out of my gym. Still active fighters. Um, will start when they retired. All right. Ref finally separates them. 55 seconds on the clock here. Ito. Pressuring Ueda outside that center line. Swinging a miss with a high kick by Ueda. What's that Georgian doing in Japan? A, that's awesome. And Ueda biting on a single leg here, looking for that single leg takedown. Ito not allowing him to take him to the ground. Good takedown defense by Ito. 25 seconds left on the clock. I found an uber prospect heavyweight who's currently in LFA. What? What's his name? I mean, Alvin Guzzi Hines, of course. Final 10 seconds. Man, I did not think Ueda would try to take him to the ground. I literally thought Ueda would stand and bang. It's mostly Ueda. Ito's at least trying to throw some hands. That's the end of the second round. Um, Ito ends up in the dominant position after stuffing Ueda's takedowns and reversing him up against the cage, but that's about it. Man, this sucks that this is the last fight that you guys get to see on the YouTube. Logan just finished Jones in the second round. Cage Warriors. Who is winning? I mean, I guess Ito. Talisian Texera. I was saw on my video dedicated to him. He's six foot eight with KO power and BJJ Black. Oh, no chill. Did you um did you already post your video? Oh, let's go. Dude, it's crazy. That popped up on my main... Um, this shit. I'm sharing it in the live chat right now. Guys, go check out No Chills MMA's video. Sorry, I didn't have, I didn't have enough time to watch it between uh, between streams. But I bookmarked it. I'm going to watch it when I, before I go to bed. All right, four minutes and 48 seconds on the clock. Let's get into this third and final off. round. Dude, no chill. He just started a YouTube channel. This is Gino, by the way. And he just posted his first video. Oh, yeah, Jones finished Logan, my bad. Good catch. Activate A. Bro, hold on. I got to see what Just Chills or Chill MMA sounds like here. Or no Chill MMA, sorry. Four minutes on the clock. And still Ito pushing away to up against the cage. Man, this, this has been a boring fight. Bro, I can't wait to watch your videos, man. I can't wait to watch your videos. I know what you sound like now, brother. You should go for shout me out. Uh, road to 10 subs. You road to 100 subs. We're going to get to, we're going to get you to 100 subs in no time, my dude. Three minutes and 33 seconds on the clock here in this boring ass fight. His chair is going to be a problem. He has a spinning wheel kick KO. Dude, I can't wait. Well, between him and Despain, hey, there's two prospects. Three minutes and 14 seconds on the clock, and Ueda goes right back to the grappling here, and they fight for dominant position up against the cage. 
Man is a voice of steel. Dude, let's go. Shout out to everyone who helped City Life get to 1,000 subs and shout out to everyone who's helping out No Chill. Two minutes and 51 seconds on the clock. Oh, man, what a boring fight. It's unfortunate, too. It's unfortunate, too. Right at the start of the main card here, after some exciting kickboxing fights early. No, so no chill. In their landmark events, they're usually in small, smaller arenas, and they'll they'll bring the cage on the road. When they go to smaller Japanese towns, they'll they'll bring the cage for their landmark events. Guess who's back? Back again. Hockey from home. Go subscribe to this channel. Oh, high kick by Ueda. Ito with the soccer kick. That's the thing, man. Ueda's going to keep spamming those takedowns, and if Ito can defend them here in the final two minutes, he can soccer kick him in the face. Oh, and a nice left hand by Ito. Another soccer kick by Ito. Let's go. Ueda's hurt. Ito landed a nice left hand. And a swing and a miss, and Ueda just falls to the ground. I want to rip my eyes and ears out with this fight. One minute and 31 seconds on the clock, and Ito's in the top position. It sounds like he was helping you out. Violence, finally. It took them long enough, but Ito actually landing some strikes on Ueda. Ito in the top position. Ito on his feet. Up kick by Ueda. Tommy, what's up, Tommy? <laughs> Super loud. Ito looking for the entry. 51 seconds on the clock. Look for a stop. Ueda's going to have to change his name to Uefa if he gets soccer kicked KO. <laughs> oh, damn. He's trying to burn you. All right. Ref stands him up. A nice left hand by Ueda. 30 seconds left on the clock here. And Ito with some combos. And Ueda? Ueda? Oh, and a nice knee by Ito. I was going to say, Ueda, you want to clown now, bro? Do you want to clown now? What's wrong with you? Hockey fights at home, baby. Oh, and a nice takedown by Ito. Yeah, he's solidifying the win. He is solidifying this win. Oh, and here we go. Here we go. I think Ito's cut here. Someone is painting the canvas red. Ito cut on his left eye. Maybe that's from the Clash of Heads. Dude, he's painting the canvas red right now. Oh my god. Look at that cut above his left eye. Oh my goodness, that is nasty. That must have been from the head clash, eh? Jeez. They don't like blood. Just bleed. Drink the blood. BJ Penn style. All right, well, end of the fight. Dude, the towel, my God. Dude, look at that cut. That is nasty. Hey. I despite the cut, I think you I mean, and again, the cut was from that clash ahead. So I think Yuki Ito is gonna win this one. He's got that merch. All right, we're listening in for the official decision. Aisha. Yeah, Ito's going to win this one. Boom, and Ito. Back in the win column, I'm four and three in predictions. 
Yuki Ito just bleed candidate. I'm not going to lie, guys. Ueda making his debut in the promotion and puts on a performance like that? What the hell? What the hell? I give up on predictions. I lost my predictions already. Don't give up hockey from home. Should have picked him. Damn, I'm noivous. I'm noivous. All right, you'll get the next one, Hank. You'll get the next one. Again, big shout out to everybody who's joining us, by the way. Um, vote in the poll question. I left. I was off the poll question. Dude, now no chill whenever, whenever. Ever I go on YouTube, I go to your channel first now. I'm, sh I'm sharing your channel in my Discord, by the way. Um, Guys, don't forget to vote in the poll question as well here tonight. We're going to set the like goal at 30 likes. Poll question, best Japanese MMA fighter of all time. Comment if not listen. We have Saku Yushin Okami. Takanori Gomi or Shin Aoki. Now, there's, there's others that you could make an argument for as well, but let me know in the live chat. Don't smash that like button and subscribe. This in the live chat. Let's go. Oh, is this Takizawa's fight coming up here? Oh my god, activate A. I just saw the clip. That's wow. Minua man, that's another dude. Minimal went Minua man is still under contract in Ryzen. ASMRs are the best co. A wild cyst appears. Ishima be glazing your channel till you hit 10k. Let's go, baby. We'll get you to 100k in no time. 100k, a 1,000, and 10,000 are like the hardest milestones I hear to get to. And I love the cold opens. They're just so net. They're just so crazy. I mean, this is a little sus. Don't get me wrong. But overall, they're just so crazy. The Bone Constrictor is one of my faves. Uh, sis, yeah, I would say so. I would say so. Dude, shout out to the great Canadian Alexi Olinick. Dude, he's still fighting and he's still boa constricting, guys. Ready to battle the mid B? What the hell is this vignette? Let's just say that Soy Boy is not going to win this one. And Shohei Nose, who they're showing right now, he's going to win this one. He's going to win this one. Our eighth fight of the card, ladies and gentlemen, and Kenta Takizawa against Shohei Nose. I have Shohei Nose winning this one. All right, I have Shohei Nose winning this one. So I know say 11, 4, and 2 as a pro. Let me update the ticker on the bottom of the screen too here, guys. Keep the comments coming, by the way, guys. You guys are awesome. What a great crowd we have here. Late night for us here in North America. Early morning for a lot of you out east. So appreciate you all. Um, But anyways, 11, 4, and 2 for Shohei Nose. 1-1, one, one, lost 1-1, one, 1-1, one, one, lost 1-1, one, 1-1. One, one. He's fought some good promotions, man. He's fought some good promotions. 1-KO, TKO, 8 submission, 2 decisions, 8-2-2 two, and two in Shuto. 1-2 and two in Road to UFC. He lost to Rinya Nakamura. Before them was on a crazy win streak. And has also fought in kickboxing. He's making his walkout right now. Dis despite him having more submissions than anything... In mixed martial arts, he does have some kickboxing experience as well. Kenta Takizawa, let's let's call it for what it is. He is in decline, man. Three losses in a row. 13 and 10. Has little to no grappling. However, apparently has been working on it. 
He's a good striker, nine KO TKOs, but you can see, I mean, zero submissions. He's lost twice via submission, lost decision four times. He's been knocked out four times now as well. Three and five in Ryzen, nine and four in Pancras. Got out wrestled by Shinobu Ota. Naoki Inoue beat him. Kaya Sakura beat him. Although he did go the distance with Kai. I mean, he has a loss to like really good competition. I mean, Ota side. Ota's not bad. Obviously, his wrestling is incredible, but I don't know. He's nothing special. He's he's a decent striker. No say again. Has not fought in the best promotions, but I think he's a lot more well rounded. Um, Takizawa, though, as an underdog, is not bad. No say is the favorite at minus 175. Takizawa was a plus 135. Takizawa, all his recent losses were to the top of his respected division. And apparently he's been working on his grappling a lot this camp. What I love about Nose is he also has, like I said, kickboxing experience as well as getting most of his wins in the grappling department via submission. I do like Nose's right hand. And again, the UFC had their eyes on him. He was in road to UFC, so he's obviously a capable fighter. I'm going with him. That's my pick, locking it in. Let me know yours in the live chat. It's still on. It might end as soon as they fight. start to fight, though, by the way. I've lost so many close bets today in MMA and COD, so I deserve that one. Let's go. From Japan. Dude, I can't wait to get Lene Hart here on the podcast. I bought the pay-per-view. I bought the pay-per-view. Dun, 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 dun. It might it might cut out any second here, guys. Rio Chonan. What's up, Tommy? Thank you so much for typing that one in. That's a great pick. No say the road UFC fighter. He was decent. I think he was a grappler. So I took the under and Mason Jones fight. The fight goes over like 10 seconds and I'm pissed because the judge stopped it too late. Fighter took unnecessary damage. I lost my bet. Both not good. Then I took and I accidentally took the over instead of the under. Who's the evil guy from Ryzen that tried to fight one of the pit bulls backstage? Oh, Clever. Clever Quipe Erps. I'm rooting for Bellator. I'm rooting for Bellator. Oh, dude, no say looks dialed. Sorry, I'm not jinxing. Good night, Jules. Thank you so much for all the support you show the channel. Ooh, I could go for some cookies. I love cookies. I don't necessarily have a big sweet tooth, but I love cookies. The favorite, uh, he did win. He did win. Who do you got in, in this one, Hockey? Do you have Nose or Takizawa? Try to fight Mr. Worldwide. What's up, Habib? Rising now, you sick bastard. You have a problem. It needs to be adjusted. I bought the pay-per-view too, Khabib. And there she goes. All right. Round one, ladies and gentlemen. Dude, Ryzen's one of my favorite promotions. It's so much fun to watch. Except for that last fight. Uh, Hodge Holmes got the favorite again, and they <laughs> cut it. That's what I figured, boys. That's what I figured. Four minutes and 45 seconds on the clock here. A nice push kick by Takizawa. Again, I have Shohei Nose winning this one. They did cut it. Oh, spinning heel kick to the body by Nose. That was nice. Nose, you can definitely see him have a karate background here. No say is the favorite hockey. The stream literally translated to first two fights. Four minutes and four seconds on the clock. I'm looking for a big takedown here is no say. Beautiful slam takedown by no say. He should come walk my dog. <laughs> right back up to his feet is Takizawa, center of the cage.
Seven more fights left. I'll probably get it in the soon enough. Three minutes and 27 seconds on the clock here, guys. And no, say, look for that big left hook. Swing and a miss. Did I say left hook? I meant big overhand left. Old school UFC vet Wilson Reyes gets it done with an arm triangle took it round one cage wars. Nice. Love to hear it. Seven more. You realize Battle of the Mid starts in 12 hours? We're, I'm doing a KSW tomorrow. The card. Till then, good luck on your predictions, Isha. Reaper Jones, keep checking the Discord in case someone finds um, a link. But if not, yeah, have a great night, Reaper. Thank you so much for all the support. You continue to show the channel. Two minutes and 33 seconds. And looking for the takedown now is no say. Switching to the single leg and he gets the takedown. Looking to drag Takisawa off of the cage. My stream was taken down. <laughs> Dropped him and subbed him. Love it. Oh, going for the back. No say. Going for the back. Back take by No say. Back take by No say. Body triangle secured. Takizawa though rolling. Nice job by Takizawa. Big KO by Reyes. Love to hear. Love to hear when the old school UFC guys get that. Oh, No say though. Gets Takizawa right back. Pulling him backwards under his shoulders here. Body triangle is secured. Dude, yeah, he old, man. He old. Hey, no say actually doing a good job here, man. No say with some big shots in the back. One minute and 21 seconds on the clock, controlling Takizawa here. Nah, it was a club and sub, not KO. Oh, knockdown. Got you, got you, got you. Secret juice, baby. Big shots from the back here by Shohei No say on Takizawa. 58 seconds on the clock, and again, body triangles secured, and no say. Just trying to soften him up to get that right arm under the chin. But Takizawa doing a good job of scrambling, despite that body triangle being secured. Have a good night, Hawk from home. Mission Jones also got a great finish. Cage Wars ended in, ended in like two seconds. Back to Ryzen. Also, Cuban Juice Brazilian Juice OL will cook that other juice head, Tiago. <laughs> Let's go, Curtis. 15 seconds on the clock here and an absolute domination of a round by Shohei Nose. Trapping that right arm of Takizawa as well, man. The grappling by this kid is next level. Couple heel shots to the body for good measure. And that is it for the first round. Yeah, on the feet, Shohei Nose looked better. And obviously in the grappling department, he looked better as well. Guys, smash that like button if you haven't already. We have a ton of fights left here on this card. No more luck from the City Life Project bracelets because I am not wearing them to bed. Have a good night, all. See you tomorrow. Have a good night, all from home. Toby Mesh. How do you say his name? Mesich is ass. <laughs> My Saturday just started hockey from home. Oh, oh, Toby, the uh, yeah, the challenger. How do you get club and sub by a 40 year old? All right, round two, ladies and gentlemen. Shohei Nose is giving it the big gun in it. <laughs> He's the absolute governor. All right, round two. Let's get it 
No problem, I'll get from home. All right, it's four minutes and 55 seconds on the clock here. <laughs> Roommates, but yes. Oh, swing and miss with that right hand. Yeah, Khabib is a bum. Everyone in my house is a, is asleep right now. Both of my roommates and some family of my roommates are visiting as well. But like you said, I have a problem. I can't stop watching MMA. Oh, nice knee on the entry there by Takizawa. Four minutes and 15 seconds on the clock. No side looking for the takedown. Takes down Takizawa easily. Body lock here by Nose. Looking for that trip. Oh, beautiful job by Nose. Just dropping, but getting that back of Takizawa. Relentless pressure by Nose here. Gets the double hooks in. And looking for that rear naked choke. Three minutes and 35 seconds on the clock. A bunch of right hands here. By Nose here. On Takizawa. Takizawa trying to spin out of it. And Takizawa almost reversed. Much like he tried to do last time in the first round. But good job by Nose. Sticking with it. And now Nose ends up in full mount. Oh, big, big elbows. Big ground and pound from back mount here by Shohei Nose. Sorry, Hockey. I'm just watching this fight right now. Two minutes and 56 seconds on the clock and continuing to roll his Takis out. But Shohei Nose, absolute domination in this second round. Absolute domination. Right hands, right elbows. And not really defending himself much. Here's Takizawa. Trying to get back up to his feet though. I mean this is rising. So the refs are going to go. Let it go as long as it needs to go. Psh, dude. No say is a beast man. Psh, more elbows by No say. Continuing just to lay them down here. Oh and that was a big one that connected. And that is it ladies and gentlemen. That is it. Oh, so no say, ladies and gentlemen. Shohei, no say. Let's go. What's up, JL? Uh, six more or six more fights. Tommy, let's go. Finally, a rise and finish. There was a few Hank the Tank. There was a few here tonight. Uh, there was two in kickboxing. Shohei Nose out grappled. Kinata Takizawa got the back control, scrambled, got back mount, and just laid down elbows like his life depended on it. Ryan Bader all day, baby. I don't have any guest spaces. Bum, ba -dum, bum, bum. The grappling, the clear side for no say. Budosenko also on Fight Pass. This is the Saturday morning. I like, yes, Budosenko also streaming. Great finish there by Shohei Nose. Hey, at least in the MMA fights, I'm getting my predictions right. Didn't look too good in the kickboxing department, but four, uh, four fight win streak right now. We are five and three in predictions. Big Bird, nobody knows. Big Bird, no one can find one, brother, but uh, I bought the pay-per-view, and I'm going to be giving live play-by-play, -play, commentary, reaction, 
And most importantly, hanging out with you guys, interacting with you guys throughout the remainder of this card. I bought the pay-per-view on Ryzen.tv, brother. Same price as it as it was on Fight TV. Bro, speaking of the in-betweeners, one of the guys on the show is now an MMA podcaster and does um like fight pass stuff for some UK uh shows in England. Or some some UK shows um that the UFC does over there and he does like some fighter interviews, some like YouTube content with them. And he was just with MMA on point recently. Actually, we have a, we did a membership stream talking about that. Hockey from home who said she was going to go like six times already. Man, why aren't we betting today? Activate a, the over would have been like 30 something. Um, I'm predicting the favorite called it. I'm on a good note and don't want to sleep. I'm on a good note. I right, don't sleep. Fuck sleep. <laughs> Dylan, that's how I'd imagine if you'd come over here in the UK, Daniel Radcliffe style, he was good in Green Street. That's a fucking based Isha cool fun fact. I'm literally editing editing the video for it, like clipping it from one of the membership streams. The tall, skinny one. What's his name? Hockey from home, I'm not going to lie. I, I ain't letting you guys in my house. <laughs> and it's nothing personal. I'm just like, I'm, I'm just not going to let people from this live chat into my house. That's YouTuber rule 101. I can't need to get up early tomorrow. Yeah, definitely in betweeners, my childhood for real. Just one of them shows. Absolutely. <laughs> JL, yikes. JL is usually pretty good at finding um, Rise. And that's, that's why I asked him. That's why I asked him. All right. Okay, well, surely we see a knockout for this one, right? Surely we see a knockout for this one. He says knocking on wood. Um, I'm going to update the ticker on the bottom of the screen and we'll get right back to it. Uh, Cold Open is playing for this next one, ladies and gentlemen. And again, sorry that I'm talking a little quieter than I usually do. Everyone in my house is asleep now. It's just past midnight. And I'm just being respectful. That's all. That's all. My office is under my roommate's bedroom. So <laughs> when I'm hooting and hollering watching Japanese MMA late, late at night, I know that they're just like, oh, for fuck's sakes, bro. He's going to get kidnapped? Will you let... No. No. Understandable. Understandable. <laughs> Apart from jail, you can visit Isha anytime he told me in messages. <laughs> I'm in a pickle. Cannot find anything. Hey, well, I appreciate you trying, buddy. Appreciate you trying. Got the favorite again. You should get humbled by me in person. Doesn't want the heat. You should get kidnapped. Yeah, someone in this live chat is kidnapping me. I ain't letting anyone in my house hockey from home. Jail humbles everyone. I've been to Isha's house. He has 400 boxes of Canucks themed pucks and VHS tapes of soccer kit KOs and 66 barrels of molasses for the winter and a fight stream setup. That's all. Honestly, you're not far off, brother. You're not far off. Yeah, Curtis Clark, it's probably because this is the first time that they're not on fight um, in a long time. Hockey from home. YouTube 101. <laughs> I would like this. You Canucks hockey pucks. Maybe I'll send you some. Maybe eventually I'll send you some Canucks hockey pucks. 66 pairs of molasses. That's very accurate. I believe it, right? Oh my goodness. 
I should tackle some of that molasses right now. Give me some sugar up in this mouth. <laughs> Look at this, by the way. Shout out to Dylan, who was handed out a bunch of memberships in this stream and last stream. Appreciate you, man. We got so much green in the live chat here. Bro, can we get a hockey from home bobblehead and every piece I'm out, you bobble it? Dude, you can get custom bobbleheads of people. <laughs> I'm not going to send you something to send to Canucks Clay. I'll send you something for you to keep if you want it. Uh, yeah, I'm not paying for that. Yikes. Where's my green? Uh, 400 boxes of Soccer Kick VHS tapes is the absolute rambunctious. Dude, I would give anything for that. I'd be like that one reporter who's like, Dana, where's my tapes? Where my, or where's my DVDs? I think Canucks Clay can afford it. The guy's like loaded hockey from home. I think he owns multiple houses in Vancouver. <laughs> Dude, look at what you've started, Dylan. Now she wants my Canucks jerseys. Hockey from home. Are you ever going to donate anything to the channel? That's what I want to know. I think Claire Lopez might get the upside with the later plus 270. She has fought good opponents. No, he doesn't. Prove it, Isha. Oh my god, this guy's dick just got killed on Budo Sento. Oh, I was like, what the hell are you talking about? <laughs> Bro, JL, I will get you the pay-per-view you stay for the whole stream. All right, fighters are being announced in the ring, and I want to give my position, guys. Or I want to give my position. I want to give my prediction. I'm going with Dace Abe. Okay, I'm going with Dace Abe. Though his opponent is only four and four. Okay, four and four. He's finished all his fights, and he's got finished in all his losses. That is right, ladies and gentlemen. That is right. Ota here, terrible record. One three wins via KO, TKO, one by submission, but he's lost once by KO and he's lost three times by submission. No decision wins or victories making his rise and debut, coming off a win in Pong Crace. He's got a good right hand too, does Kota. Abe, he's a brawler. Abe's a brawler. He should win via KO in like the first or second round, but at plus 115. Osman is dangerous, okay? Round one. Keep the comments coming, guys. I'll catch up in a moment. Osman in the blue. Abe in the red. And Abe in a little bit better shape, but honestly, Osman, he's in better shape than I've seen him in Pancrase. And Osman throwing that right hand. He's got to be careful. Nice counter right by Abe. Bro, jail. Thank you, buddy, for becoming a member. Thank you, jail. Appreciate you, man. Thank you so much. For tomorrow? Worst low blade you've ever seen? Oh, my goodness. Oh, and a couple big shots by Abe. Full impact knee. Ouch. Bro, Canucks Clay's got money. No, JL's been saying yikes forever. Dude, JL, thank you so much, man. Appreciate you. Oof. Oh, oh. Huge right hand by Dachi Abe. He knocks out Osman Cold. Huge right hand by Dachi Abe. He knocks out Osman Cold. Osman was just like, I was knocked out, bro. Still seeing the Tweety Birds. Let's go, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go. That shit beautiful than a motherfucker. Awesome win for Dachi Abi. Yikes is a timeless and fantastic word used by many out there. 
I'm watching Buddha Sento too since Ryzen won't let me watch for free. JL loves Yikes. I offered to buy him the pay per view for this and he responds, Yikes. I do love a good Yikes. Actually, yeah, he, he's a pretty good he's a pretty good MMA channel. Mateo, by the way, Mateo, I saw your message. Sorry, I didn't uh, I didn't respond. Winter Dabblers tomorrow. Um, Big Beer Week is March fourth to tenth. Then I'm going to go to Big Beer Week a couple times. See you later, Hoggy from home. I put the nut shot in the Discord. Okay, I'll check it out here in a sec. No say one. Yes, he did. Sounds good, Hockey from home. Appreciate you. Put it this way. Ron and MMA made a whole video about Bilal Muhammad in response to JL. My boy's channel. He's humble and says it how it is. He isn't bullshitting. The only thing is he's made a repulsing Bilal film study video, which he made, which made me so angry. There it is. I'll do a big beer week. Can't do tomorrow. Got a date with Uncle Sam. Got a date with Uncle Sam. Oh, the tax man. Yeah, I'm streaming, Mateo. Like we're streaming all night. We're streaming at this all night. And then at 7 a.m. there's boxing, and then there's KSW at 11 a.m., and then there's UFC at, like, I don't even remember. Jail's literally a mythical character in the MMA stream scene. But yeah, let's hit up Big Beer Week, buddy. Tax season, baby. Have a great night, all. I am not going to sleep tonight, no. I haven't had any coffee yet. I haven't needed any. Mind you, we're only one hour and 27 minutes in. Hell nah, man. We ain't sleeping. This is a big weekend. We're going rising, boxing if it's still on, and if I still have any gas left in the tank. Uh, KSW, epic. I mean, I might try to nap before KSW, but we'll see. I'm either going to sneak in a workout or nap, one or the other. Tax season, baby. I'll be here. Let's go. I'll be on as long as you're streaming 24 hours. Let's go. <laughs> yes, sir. Who's boxing? I'll message you all night. Then you should fear sleep. Just a joke. I'm not going to bother you all night. Uh, in a way's younger brother. Or we should I see how it is? Hold on, hold on. Activate. Did I miss one of your comments? Jail, I subbed. Okay, cool. Have I seen the under overs? Hold on one sec. I got to get to the Discord here. I don't know anything about the older generation of Japanese fighters. Mini monster, huh? Yes, yes. Okay, hold on. Activate A. Um. Ooh, I'm all right with that activate. I got I got that. I'm down for that over under. Locking it in. By the way, big shout out to everyone watching. Let's hit let's get to 40 likes. Let's make the like goal 40 likes, ladies and gentlemen. Appreciate you, hockey from home. Thank you. Officially, officially, officially out. All right, we have Takiharu Ashida against Hiroki Suzuki coming up next year, ladies and gentlemen. Um, only five five more fights on the card, and I believe uh, the intermission is going to be after this one. This is the earliest Ryzen card I can remember in a while. No, I'm playing. Was just joking about you saying no beers been to your home, but Mateo has. That is true. That is true. That is true. In fairness, 
I knew Mateo as a friend before City Life. Is it tomorrow or is it now for the belt? Just found out my new computer gets 250 megabytes per speed on one side of my bed. Shared 80 on the other side of the bed, which is, that is very weird. Bro, Suzuki's walking out to freaking Japanese singers right now. This is crazy. Bro, look at this guy. What a G. What's up, Sean, by the way? Thank you so much for joining. Need another barrel age. The one I had last year was so damn good. Yeah, dude. We need to find a designated driver, Mateo. Jeez, guys, what the fuck? Hockey from home says, Isha, I will break into your house if you're not letting me into your house. It's for tomorrow. <laughs> I'm dying. Sean's struggling with tables on multiple sides of the bed. This is getting weird, bruh. <laughs> Exactly that. Oh my god. Clean words. I'll bring the pizza for the hangover recovery. Add a boy. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh my goodness. What is going on here? What is going on? Oh, keep from home. You're going crazy in the live chat. Ooh, I like this walkout music by Ashida. All right. Teeing up this next one here. And then we'll highlight the fighters here in just a moment. And I will give my pick and prediction. He's just laughing like he's high. Man, fuck Haggies, bro. <laughs> I'll knock on everyone's mask. <laughs> My setup is in the dead zone. I just got to set up a stand-up desk. I'm not reassembling that shit. I do love the stand-up desks. <laughs> what is happening? Dude, that got nutted in Budo just got poked in the eye. Might be over. Dude, that sucks. <laughs> what the fuck is going on? He should probably wish he was high right now. The second guy's topology photo. <laughs> what the fuck? Dude, I'm actually freaking out a little bit now. <laughs> For poker. <laughs> I'm going to be real. I'd be kind of scared, Isha. Hockey is a spe specific skill set, and she's not afraid to use it. <laughs> oh, my goodness. It's a good thing it's not like 3, 4 a.m. yet where I'm just like losing it. I'm convinced she's just giving us signs to invite us over <laughs> I feel like I'd be a great house sitter. <laughs> All right, guys. Let's quickly highlight these fighters as they're being announced in the cage. We have Hiroki Suzuki up against Takehiro Ashida. Ashida, 34 years of age, 26 wins, 13 losses, 2 draws. He is 3-2 and two in his last 5 fights. He did lose his last fight. He's a little bit more well-rounded than Suzuki. Eight KOTKOs, five submissions, 13 decisions. <laughs> I still can't stop laughing. I'm going to break your window. <laughs> Two and three. I don't know if I should be flattered or concerned, guys. Two and three in Ryan. <laughs> Two and 
three in Ryzen, 12, four and one in deep, six. No, I'm losing it. Six and zero oh in brave. <laughs> oh my god. Two and two in real fight championship. He's fought in shoot boxing. He's fought. In... <laughs> I can't hold together, guys. I'm losing my mind. Oh. He actually fought in Bell. This is actually something of note too that I talked about in my prediction video. He actually fought Ren Hiramoto in kickboxing in Bellator when Bellator was doing kickboxing uh, a few years back, but hasn't really had a lot of luck in MMA since then. His opponent, Hiroki Suzuki, now only three and three and 39 years of age. He's a kickboxer. He's a kickboxer, first and foremost. Muay Thai, kickboxing, shoot boxing, and has honestly really only taken up MMA quote unquote full time recently. Does have a good win in his last fight, and uh, he's the underdog at plus one eighty, and I'm picking him as the underdog. Let's get it all. Anyways, round one here. I'll, I'll explain why I picked him here in a moment. Suzuki on the back foot right now. Ooh, a nice counter left by Suzuki. Basically, I picked him because I think he's going to land a knockout because he just does have a lot of power. He had a nice inside low kick. Ashida did not like that. He's got good submission defense despite him not, not having that great grappling, not great wrestling. Um... Ba -ba -ba -ba. And Suzuki actually has been training with Kleber and the boys as well. So his grappling is getting better. He's got hard punches, hard kicks. He's never been finished. Ashida, again, well-rounded. Good journeyman. Um, but doesn't have the most offensive wrestling. Just good jujitsu, which is why this is a little bit dangerous for Suzuki right now. As Ashida is just... You know, playing jujitsu off his back, but I'm going with the underdog. I'm going with Suzuki. I think he gets a knockout when this is on the feet. Plus 180. Had to sprinkle. Had to sprinkle. All right. What did I miss in the live chat here? This dude is the green, is in the green is evil. I don't even think they've taken a point. You shall be there in 20. I'd be intimidate. I would intimidate all the robbers. And when Bilal's name gets brought up, they will panic and run away. They don't want to go to the judges with him. Two minutes and 30 seconds on the clock and looking to set up a triangle choke here from the bottom is Ashida. <laughs> It was in the fourth round, too. Championship fight to boot, and the guy with the sore testes, bleeding eye, is the champion. That's crazy. You're lucky your roommates and relatives are there. Yeah, right. You said it's okay to take a deep breath and remember everything's all right. Emotional damage. <laughs> oh my goodness. I'm freaking out. Quite literally freaking out now. Anyways, one minute, 46 seconds on the clock and looking for that triangle is Ashida from the bottom. Because the right arm is behind. Because that right arm actually is over that left knee of Ashida, this this could be considered a reverse triangle here, and he pops out of it. Beautiful knee by Suzuki. Suzuki in the top position, landing some nice shots on Ashida. And Suzuki in the top position. Dude, his grappling and wrestling is getting a little bit better. 
Nah. Huge ground and pound by Suzuki here in the final minute of the first round. Hawk from home, you're scaring me. You're scaring me with some of these chats. Oh, soccer kick. Soccer kick and a stomp by Suzuki. Soccer kick and a stomp by Suzuki. And it is all over. It is all over. Oh, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? I love this shit. I love this promotion. I love this promotion. Suzuki with the knockout. Suzuki with the knockout. Soccer kick. Knee. Ground and pound. God. Soccer kicks are the most beautiful thing on the planet. Oh my goodness. They are the most beautiful thing on the planet. Suzuki. Now four and three in the promotion. Let's go. I'm so fucking happy for him. I'm so fucking happy for him. And I won a little bit of money because I took him as the underdog plus 180. Dude, so far, I'm not going to get cocky. It, it was a scary start, but so far I'm doing pretty good on my predictions. All right, we're taking a look at the replay here. Boom, knee to the face, knee to the face, soccer kick to the head, stomp to the body, left hand. How can you tell me that this does not belong in the UFC? You are fucked in the head if you think that this does not, this rule set does not belong in the UFC. God. Oh, that kick was amazing. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Oh, I'm so far in the I'm so far behind in the comments, guys. If I missed your comments, uh just comment it again. Benjamin, what's going on, dude? Suzuki won. Suzuki won knee to grounded opponent. Stalker kick to the head. TKO. Hello, my friend. Greetings from Mexico. What's up, Benjamin? Are you excited for UFC Mexico tomorrow? Hola, mi amigo. Hockey, that was an absolute comedy masterclass. Do you think Oshima? Yes, I do have Oshima to win in the next one. He's just getting cocky now. He's getting a little too big-headed. He's going to need a good old humbling. Well, JL, you know, you know that Gustavo is probably going to lose the main event. <laughs> Isha has another VHS to add to his soccer kick collection. Yes. Dude, I should tape. I should transfer all these to VHS. <laughs> I won't actually break into your house. Thank you, Hockey. Please do not break into my house. Hockey, you made me laugh. Remember the name. Dude, he commented on that video, by the way. He has a YouTube channel. I invited him on the podcast. Remember the name. The real Bilal. The real Bilal. The true Bilal. Damn it, my pick was Ashida. Nothing happened, guys. No. Suzuki was the underdog. He was plus 180. Yo, what's up, my sack, my man? How many left half in the bag here seeing your live? So there's one more fight. Oh, so there's four more fights, but the intermission, I believe, is about to begin. Yeah, so I think Saki Kabara is going to be addressing the audience here. Um, there's going to be some fighters and fights announced, and then there's going to be a little short intermission, but four more fights. It's all good, Hawkey from home. It's all fun. He downloads them onto an iPad and then breaks out the Kirkland for that one. And Tabitha Ritchie, you know me too well. 
Exactly that. I'm sorry. <laughs> See you later, Augie from home. <laughs> Oh. What got me was uh where's the screenshot? I took a screenshot of what hockey from home said. What got me was sorry for the shit talk. I'll break into your house though. <laughs> oh my god, dude. I'm gonna share that in the uh I'm going to share that picture in the Discord. Uh, Bilal is based. Did you tell him his biggest fans are here but not explain the reason? Is because we were having a laugh at jail's expense? Because you should have told him uh, we would have all been in the stream for that one. Well, he watched um, the last uh, highlight video that I posted. Hockey from home. Be patient. Be patient. That one killed Pizza. <laughs> Sorry for this shit talk. I'm going to still break into your house, though. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Hold on. Where's the freaking. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry for all this shit talk. I'll break into your house, though. <laughs> all right. Anyone else think uh, Jerome Holloway was a dick when he faked being nice to Showboat to teach Ortega to defend the strikes in the fight? That seemed like he wanted to go viral and be a sore winner. Sorry. Yeah. I got nothing against Max Holloway's performance in that fight. I think Max Holloway, that wasn't his best performance, to be perfectly honest, and he still schooled Ortega. Oh, thanks, Yash. I saw my comment. Whenever commenting that again, where's my tag for that comment? Yeah, yeah, his name ain't Jerome, bud. Jerome is his name? I thought his name was Max. Anyone think it was disrespectful to target Burns' injury? All right, guys, we have four more fights left on this card, and it's only 1.30 a.m. Eastern. I think we have the Eastern card starting at this time. Oh! <gasps> Let him know, no chill. Uh, I just saw the Henry Cejudo video. Can't believe I missed that. Glad he ain't going out like that. But what's he going to do now? <laughs> They're going to make Sanhagen fight him. Watch. <laughs> we love you, JL. Cejudo versus... You should know chill's talking about Bilal. Uh, Cejudo versus Piotr, Piotr Jan, the fight we should... Oh, God. Oh, right, right. Burns fought, uh, got injured in a fight against this guy. I can't remember his name. What was his name? I remember the guy couldn't even finish Burns, and Burns had one arm. But I forget the guy's name. Um, but have you heard of this Bilal guy in Cage Fury FC? Oh, my goodness. Dude, he's so good, man. He's so good. I was going to talk about him on the last podcast, but I was like, oh, Hoppy and Z are going to talk about him, and they did. Hockey for a moment. It's in the Discord. Uh, Bilal was smart. No, no, no. You aren't winding me up. No, I know, I know, I know. Don't care at all about Cejudo. Aljo screwed it up. He says he's going to fight another vet. Sanhagen was spanked against Marab and Umar. There is no vet that he can fight in that division. That's the thing. 
His name was Bilbo, I think. Peace the show, Officer and Luca. How much fun we have. Can you send me the pic to you, please? Jail look below on Discord. I sent that to him too, man. Right when that happened, I sent that clip to Jail on, on Twitter and was like, the real below. Sahudo versus Umar. Oh. I mean, that's typical UFC main card minute that I would not be surprised if the UFC did that. Peace out, my guys. All right, see you later, Hawk of Ramon. <laughs> <laughs> Jeffy Sub is cater should fight the loser of Ortega a year than title fight. I'm all right with that, JL. Actually, I like that. I saw a replay of this fighter named Charles Oliveira. Dude might be good at this whole MMA thing. Yeah, he's pretty good. He's pretty good. I'll let you know what Alpha Zeta, Alpha Zeta and Lucas say about it. So who the fucked up his whole career? Yikes. <laughs> Don't we have so much fun in the chat, guys? I'm going to break into your house. It's so much fun. We're going to break your windows, Isha. I'm behind you. Isn't this so much fun? <laughs> First cringe fight I saw was against Aljo, fucking overrated, beating Marlon. Hockey from home, it was awesome. Have a great night. Have a great night. All right, guys. We have an intermission here before these last four fights. So uh, let's tee him up here. I'm going to update the ticker on the bottom of the screen as well. And after we highlight these fighters, we're going to take a quick break. I'm just going to drain the main vein. I'm, I'm not even drinking any coffee yet. I'm going to drain the main vein, do a little quick stretch, and then we'll come right back and hang out with you guys. We still have over 20 people watching right now, which is absolutely amazing. That shit beautiful than a motherfucker. You, you guys are seriously awesome. Thank you so much for hanging out with us. Thank you so much for helping us get the soda pod to a thousand subscribers. Thank you so much for supporting our boy in the live chat right now. No chill MMA as he posted his first ever video to his channel. And I'm so excited to twist one up after this. Before KSW and listen to that video, my man. Hockey from home, go to sleep. Oh, I appreciate it, guys. Really appreciate it. It's been a lot of work on that channel. Dedicated to combat sports. Oh, shut the front door, JL. Lucky left hook my ass. Yikes, that was embarrassing, Rob. Toyed with him and made him his bitch. I'll also tackle you in your office, so get ready for that. Could you imagine just on stream and like hockey from home just tackling me? That, I, that was, I remember watching that in my THPN office. Twisting one up right now, a.k.a. taking a bong hit. Yeah, I'm a little too old for uh, the bzongs, but uh, I'm still old school. I just love the, um, the ritual of twisting one up, too. Always have. Even if I don't get to smoke it. Like, even if I'm on a break or if, or if it's someone's tobacco, I love it. Dude, KSW Epic is going to be amazing. I, You just bringing it up makes me want to go run a mile right now while listening to the Pride FC theme song. Oh, shush, shush, shush. Chandler's my boy. I'll be less annoying than the Charles Delusional fam, fem boys. That would be That would be me. I'm definitely older than you, Isha. Bongs all day, brother. Oh, I can't do it anymore. It gets me... E e even with a tolerance built up, even with a tolerance, it just gets me too fucked up. My brain can't handle it. I start thinking about things I don't want to think of. The filters go... aren't cracked. The filters just get blown right off, and it's just too much. Same with, like, edibles. I can't do edibles anymore. It's too much. Too much. Oh, no, you're good, Jail. You're hardly aggressive. The hockey from home was saying she was going to break in my house and tackle me. <laughs> I don't think that fight ever happened. 
Henry wonder how he dealt with stress so well. Hmm, nominated nominated for the best role L's. I do love rolling L's. Cross joints are my favorite, and I've rolled a six paper joint a couple times. No, jail, you've been good. No, no, you've been good, jail. You've been you've been actually like like the best version of jail I've ever seen. <laughs> All right, guys, we're going to take a quick break. Do not go anywhere. Refill your water bottle. Refill your coffee. If you're drinking some Wobbly Pops right now at 1246 a.m. Central or 146 a.m. Eastern, cheers, guys. Cheers. If you're twisting one up, go fire that shit up as the intermission is on right now. Four more fights left on the card. We will highlight the fighters when we come back after this quick break. Uh, he is. He's fighting Sarukian uh, UFC 300. Because Chandler wants to be healthy and ready to fight Connor. Chandler made the most scared of him. Chandler kills Armin. Uh, I don't know about that. Anyways, uh, back here on the other side. Do not go anywhere. Smash that like button if you haven't already. Subscribe to the channel. Vote in the poll question. We're taking a quick two to five minute break. Again, um, I'm going to drain the main vein. Just going to do a quick little stretch here. We've been streaming. We were streaming LFA before this as well. And then we'll come back in a few minutes. We'll highlight the next fight. And for those who are just joining us, we do live play-by-play, -play, commentary, reaction, and interaction with all you amazing folks in the live chat here. So keep the comments coming. There, there's a reason no one wants to speak his name. Yeah, but no one thinks Connor's going to come back. UFC 300 in April, I believe in June. I take a full bowl of hits of American Spirit from a straight two breaker in a single hit. I am unhinged. You are as crazy as those guys in like India and parts of Africa who just snort that tobacco powder straight, my man. Drain the main vein is wild. I forget where I heard that from. But anyways, back on the other side. Do not go anywhere. Smash that like button and subscribe and we'll see you after this quick break. Ryzen Landmark 8 in Saga Fight Companion. Live here on the City Life Project YouTube channel. Don't go anywhere, folks. We'll be right back. Let's go.
and we are back live here on the city life project youtube channel Eisend landmark eight in saga 1 a.m and honestly that's actually pretty early that's actually pretty early coming out of an intermission now usually they put on screen when the intermission is going to end i'm hoping the top of the hour here that would make sense that would be how you say ideal but this is Ryzen, and as hank the tank will point out nothing ideal is ever employed in Ryzen. anyways Back to your guys' comments. The comments have been absolutely buzzing. Speaking of Hank the Tank, there he is. There he is. And four streamers with Rego and MMA experts included. Every other streamer is a bozo. Ain't ever been twisted. But I've been damn hammered. Ain't that the truth? I've seen you before, damn hammered. Rush Hour is a good stream. I only watch three streamers, so your boy is picky. G -g Guess who's back? Yo, my man. <laughs> Let's get it, everyone. Leave Isha a like and share this stream. Thank you, my man, Jay. I, I just hopped in Jay's stream in the break and gave him the like. Said what's up to him. Jay, check it out, brother. Not to toot my own horn, but I'm tooting my own horn. And there's four more fights I could, I could lose in my predictions in... Or I could get the next four fights wrong in my prediction 100%, but we're hoping, we're hoping, uh, we're hoping for the best here. Might make a second Wawa trip before KSW. Probably a good idea. We might take a nap, but it depends on what time the boxing fights are, which I think the card starts at 3 a.m., but in a way is fighting at 7. Anyways, we shall see. Mm -mm -mm. rush hour by the way guys if you haven't checked it out already let's check it out now speaking of my friend jay speaking of my friend jay every time man every time i go to youtube no chills video pops up now so might as well share it dude no chill. i can't wait to like collab with you down the road i'm already like so impressed with your shit and i haven't even watched the full video yet go check out no chills video in the live chat here guys i'm literally gonna pump his channel every single time he he joins and if you have any new videos as always let us know but yeah um this is what i was getting at if you guys haven't already heard or you haven't already seen rush hour fight club and myself have actually started a new show together that's right rush city fight show ladies and gentlemen every single monday 7 p.m eastern two hours old school old school sports radio style and in the format of the talk show but we do have segments to hang out with you guys to take your comments every hour as well i'm gonna post every hour individually as i did here hour one and hour two after the shows as well so if you miss us live and you don't want to download or watch the two hour video i will post the hour segments individually uh, as well every week the wild have a four-year window of 12 million for boldy yoel erickson at combine along with some elc years from potentially very good players. They need to make some runs after next year. Absolutely, Sean. Absolutely. Because this is Kirill Kaprizov's best years, too. They need at least two of those best years, you know, going on a run. I've never been to Wawa, but Quick Trip is the great is the greatest thing right behind soccer kicks to the face. Boldy has been so damn good too recently along with the whole top line. Yeah, Boldy's been so consistent too, which is nice to see, dude. And like, Marat's going to come over soon. It's going to be amazing. Predictable rising. Now that I can get behind. 
Being associated with Ryzen makes me happy and sad at the same time. It's always happy for me. It's always happy for me. I look forward to it. The Wawa might be the funniest location name ever. What else did I miss in the live chat here? Not too much. Again, big shout to Rush Hour Fight Club. Can't wait to... Uh, he's a co-host of mine now. It's pretty cool. And and I might as well promote it. I keep forgetting. my. I'm, I've been promoting it. Oh, that's fine. So Rush Hour Fight Club and I, we are streaming the show from each of, from both of our channels simultaneously, but we're only going to be doing that for the next like four to five more weeks. Once we get to 200 subscribers on the Rush City Fight Show channel, um, on this channel here, which already almost 30 subscribers, that is awesome. Once we get to 200 or 250 subscribers on this channel that I just threw in the live chat here, then we're just going to move the entire show to that channel and stream from there. You ever come over with the full three-year ELC to keep the change, baby? I missed you, that's for sure. I missed you too, Hank. Putting 30 minutes of aerobic exercise, I'm feeling good. Nice. Now, was it Richard Simmons aerobics or was it, um, oh, Carmen Electra? Uh, it was probably a VHS too. Speaking of VHS, as we were talking about those earlier, Kaprizov is gonna cast is gonna cost like 12 million in two years. You'd think he'll be 29. Probably getting that Panarin money. Absolutely. He's going to get that Elias Pedersen money, baby. Da, 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 da. Have to be when Elimination Chamber starts at 2 a.m. tomorrow. Boom, Dylan gifting a membership again. I just have to say, like, Mateo has been a long time member of the channel. So big shout out to my friend Mateo. And same with Sean Cosgrove. Sean Cosgrove, other than living in the same apartment complex as Rampage Jackson in Mexico, doesn't have any connection to MMA other than he supports my other channel. 12 mil, six years. Big shout to Dylan, continuing to hand out memberships tonight. Appreciate you, my man. And JL also becoming a member tonight. Thank you, buddy. Yes, intermission is still going, buddy. Intermission is still going. Although almost for sure have to burn one. He has the leverage, I think. Keep the change, you filthy animal. Let's go phony. The crazy bastard did it. Most memorable, the most memeable are getting memberships. Oh, God damn it, he went to phony. There you go, phony got a membership again. The crazy bastard did it. Not if Mental Alert is a playoff bound again next year, they will come over in training camp. Main card men is just sitting here waiting for a membership and Phony Turkson gets one instead of him. Oh, no. Phony's watching for sure, buddy. Phony's up watching some soccer kicks to the face. Even if Phony's, like, you know, trying to keep his eyes open, I know he's watching. Fights are fun. I just watch maybe once every few weeks. Dude, Dylan giving him enough. Dude, Dylan, you... You're far too kind, buddy. You're far too kind. Dylan, we're all just hanging out, watching the greatest MMA ever. Not, not necessarily the greatest fighters ever, but the greatest rule set ever. And Dylan, you're handing out memberships. Appreciate you, buddy. Appreciate you. Thank you, dude. Dude, Anthony, it's a long one too, man. It's been a long one. It's been four or... 
34 minutes so far. Or not, not quite 24 minutes, 24 minutes. Phone is the undisputed interim lightweight champion. Bloodthirsty violence. Keep the change. Uh, Z five times a Judd's Buds episode. Good to see you, by the way, Anthony. Good to see you. Oh boy, who's gonna get it? Dylan's giving bank, dude. Dylan's the man. Donut Sensei, let's go. <laughs> The donut got it. Firm handshake, Dylan. Dude, what is up, Donut Sensei? Thank you so much for joining. Sensei. Why do I keep saying Sensei? Sensei. We salute you. <laughs> I'll ankle pick you. Dude, what's up, Donut? I didn't know you were still up hanging out with us. Bro, shout out to Donut Sensei. I don't know why I just like maybe it's just because like the napitis is starting to to creep in. I keep like wanting to say sensei. Don't worry, main card minute. Just wait till Mr. Grant Gregory jumps in a stream eventually. And when and when Mr. Grant Gregory's feeling uh speaking of Mr. Grant Gregory, Mr. Grant, if you're watching, I just saw your Twitter message. I know it's like two days old. I'm a dick. I'm sorry I, I missed it. I will message you back tomorrow, I promise. <clears throat> okay here we go here we go the break is over the break is over the intermission is over <laughs> glad it was donut donut no chill and maiden card i was eyeing all th all three. Oh shit i just fucking smacked my mouse we are back what's up volcan dude volcan we are crushing the predictions here Anthony, we're back. We're back, Anthony. Bless the Lord. Oh, my God. ASMR, baby. It's 1 a.m. Vulcan, too. What's good? What's good? The re at last. The Red Sea has parted. Okay, let's go. All right, the cold open here, ladies and gentlemen. Claire Lopez. Um, actually, we'll get to these last comments here, then we'll highlight the two fighters. Now it's hype when you got yours, Hank. Come on, Oshima. Yes, let's go. <laughs> Dylan, you absolutely caring tonight. Dude, Dylan does this every fucking weekend, man. Dylan, I, I swear. I mean, every now and then Dylan takes a weekend off, as he fucking should. But Dylan goes above and beyond to support this channel, man. And he knows how much I, I, I appreciate it. Giving back to the community to help build it from the ground up, baby. Like, Dylan's the reason we cracked 8,000 two weeks ago. So, so I appreciate everybody who got us close to that step and then dylan and mr grant you know taking that extra taking that extra it was awesome i always worry i get on your nerves in the dms and then remember you don't have twitter on your phone and probably have a billion messages yeah no no it's don't ever take it personal i'm just 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 bump me with another one or i should give i should give you my phone number i don't know why you don't have my phone number here let me just text it out to youtube right now no. <laughs> Yo, we hit the safe parlay last weekend. If you hit this week's safe parlay, I promise I'll spring you something you'll be happy with. Oh, hey, no, you don't have to, Vulcan. You don't have to. But uh, I hope you hit. I hope you hit. And activate on his birthday. Lopez Cook, the hometown girl. I'm part of the City Life Project for Life. Did you guys know that Kyle actually has City Life tattooed on his fucking chest? I'll share that picture after this fight. Lopez about to ragdoll this girl. My man. We live and die by Isha. Road to 10k. Another. 
another one and another one and another one. Oh my god. Oh my god. Let's go, Dylan, giving out another membership. Who's it gonna be? It's Vulcan! Vulcan got it, baby! Vulcan back with a membership. Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Dude. Booyah. Derek, no one has a link for this one. We all bought the pay-per-view, man. Some could say Dylan and Gregory soccer kicked you over 8K. Some could say. Dude. Do you know that if your hand is bigger than your face, it means you have cancer? Don't do this to me. Don't do this to me. I like, I really just want to. <laughs> I got small hands, bro. Even for a guitar player, I got small hands. One of us. One of us. Oh, dude, Lene Hart, I just love her. Another one and another one. We all bought the pay-per-view trust. By the way, I will share the Discord link with all you new members um, after this fight. Okay, let's quickly highlight these fighters, guys. Thank you so much for the comments. Thank you so much for the gifted memberships. I can't believe we have so many people watching right now. I'm so... I'm just so honored because I'm whispering here like a crazy fuck. But I hope you can see that, like, I am just so hyped right now, guys. Not necessarily for this particular women's MMA fight, but most of the time, the women's MMA fights in Ryzen deliver more than they do in one championship. I mean, compared to the last one championship card, I should say. The ASMR's off the chain. We, I, I appreciate you too, buddy. It's been awesome having you part of this community. So it goes with my girlfriend, read that, and put her hand in front of her face, and I got her with the trick. Nice assist. Yeah, if hockey from home was here, she would have kicked my fucking face. Kicked the fucking hand over my face. Okay, anyways, Claire Lopez, 8 and 5 as a pro. She is 3 and 2 in her last five fights. She did lose her last fight. 3 KO, TKO, 4 submission, 1 decision, 1 and 1 in Ryzen, 0 and 1 in Bellator. Lost her last fight to Izawa, but who hasn't at this point? Who hasn't at this point? Uh, Oshima, 12 and 4 as a pro. Very good grappler. Hands, man, leaves a little, little uh, to be desired. Um, 4 and 1 in her last 5. Was on a great win streak before losing 2. Siwoon Park, which was, she just looked off in that fight. Lost a decision to Siwoon Park. 3 and 0 oh in Ryzen. 5 and 2 in Deep Jewels. 2 and 1 in Deep. Some decent names on her resume too. No one that special, but hey, it's women's MMA in Japan. What do you What do you want me to say here? What do you want me to say? Um, Oshima is the favorite here, and honestly, if this stays on the feet, Claire Lopez is going to piece her up. But I think Oshima smothers her up against the cage, and unfortunately, makes this a boring fight. So that's why, like, I'm not jacked for this to be a, a boring fight. If anything, I hope I'm wrong in my prediction that Claire Lopez like knocks her out or pieces her up. But uh, Claire Lopez, by the way, wearing Combate Global gear for Ryzen. What the hell is going on here? I hope Combate Global is paying her, but I'm going with Oshima. I'm locking it in. Um, ba -ba -ba, back and forth winning in deep at Ryzen. Still young, good grappler, dangerous submission. She dominates in all of her wins. Lopez is dangerous on the feet and has faced some really good opponents in her career. She's a good underdog at, pl at plus 225, but I'm going with Oshima. All right, round one, ladies and gentlemen. As we are back, final four fights on this card. 
And it looks like they're going to announce more fights on Landmark 9 because Saki Kabarson has not even entered the ring to announce more fights. Oh, and a beautiful takedown there by Shima right into side control. Sean's playing some poker tonight. Dylan with another. <laughs> One more, let's see. Who is it? Who got it? I gotta go to bed. Shout out to Isha the Goat for grinding. Always and shout out to Dylan for giving away everyone he can to membership. The one that got away. <laughs> Dylan's bleeding more money than Shachi. All right, on her back is Oshima. Claire Lopez back on her feet. Let's see if the ref allows Oshima or stands Oshima back up. Dude, Dylan again. Dylan, what the hell? I'll be back. Dylan again, give it another membership. Dylan again, <laughs> give it another membership. We'll never know because main card's out. We'll never know because main card left. Well, I guess we'll know tomorrow. One more time in person. Aisha got it. Oh, and a beautiful double leg by Oshima. Dude, Dylan, thank you again, brother. How many is that now? One. Well, that's jail, two. Oh, I didn't bookmark them all. Oops. Thank you, Dylan. <laughs> Dylan in his Oprah fra in his Oprah phase. Oshima in the top position by now. What the fuck? Dude, what the fuck? What the fuck? Oh my god! Another one. I'm so distracted by the gifted memberships. I don't even know what's going on in this fight, but I don't even care, dude. Dylan, thank you, brother. Thank you. Another one. Another one. <laughs> you get a membership. I get a membership. He gets a membership. The Western Mass Climber. This is more exciting than women's MMA. Yes, Oshima's very much a grappler. You get a gifted. You get a gifted. I did not, but I heard they won. Wow, thank you guys. Thank you. Everybody who donated JD... JL, and of course, Dylan for handing out donations like a madman. Dude, I know Dylan is Santa Claus at this point. All right, ref stands up, Oshima. Dylan has turned the entire chat green. We're a beanstalk. One minute on the clock, by the way. And sorry to those in the chat and those listening who just want the play-by-play. -play. I'm just freaking out because of all these gifted memberships. So my apologies. Is there anything going on here or are they just cuddling? Right now they're back on their feet 55 seconds on the clock. And Claire Lopez is doing a good job of keeping this on the feet. Claire Lopez with a nice right hand on Oshima. As Anthony, Claire Lopez is exposing Oshima's bad striking right now. Because Oshima's looking for a takedown, even with 30 seconds on the clock. Vibes were immaculate. And Oshima getting the easy double egg on Lopez. 20 seconds on the clock. So it's like every now and then Gregory or somebody drops in the chat here and gives like a stupid amount. I mean, Dylan has tonight here. So it's just the luck of the draw, unfortunately. And a great job by Claire Lopez for reversing at the end of that round, getting on top of Oshima. I got to give that first round to Claire Lopez. Though Oshima got the takedowns, Claire Lopez was able to reverse. And when they were on their feet, 
Claire Lopez got the better of her in strikes. Nice. Nice to see Brodine get one. Oshima's not doing any damage. Lopez is doing more damage on the feet. And again, guys, sorry I'm whispering like a crazy fuck, but it's 1.19 a.m. where I'm at. My whole household is asleep. My roommates are hosting family for one of their for one of their bridal showers. So like it's just just crazy. And it's a rising weekend. So I'm staying up all night, but I'm just not hooting and hollering. So that's why. Dude, this is so funny that she's wearing a freaking Combate Global fight kit for Ryzen. Let's get it all! Let's wake him the fuck up! Oshima being the local probably edges the decision with the judges. We'll see, we'll see. But you're not wrong, you're not wrong. Oh, big left by Claire Lopez. Again, Claire Lopez is piecing her up on the feet, guys. As we said, as we said she would. Oh, beautiful job stuffing the takedowns. Claire Lopez knee to the face of Oshima. Left by Claire Lopez. Dude, Claire Lopez is absolutely dominating in the striking and damage department. No chill, I'm rolling it one last time. And it and if it's not yours, I'll cash app you five bucks for directly. No bullshit. Dude, Dylan's the real MVP tonight. Oshima gets the takedown finally. <laughs> Dylan with another gifted membership. Dylan, thank you, brother. Claire Lopez avoided the ground like hot lava, please. Avoid the ground with like hot lava now. Dylan, thank you, brother. Thank you again. Who did it go to? Who did it go to? Who the fuck is GG Black Ink? Dylan, you're the absolute goat. Shout out to GG Black Ink, whoever the fuck you are. Claire Lopez back up to her feet. <laughs> Who the fuck is that guy? Two minutes and 46 seconds on the clock. Riff's going to stand this up soon. Whoever the fuck you are. City Life Project is the only place where this stuff happens. Dude, Dylan is just far too kind, man. Boom. Oh, it's Black Ink VHO. Sorry, Black Ink. I didn't know you were GG Black Ink. Oh, good game, Black Ink. Sorry about that. Black Ink. I thought that your username was GG Black Ink based on what Hank the Tank. I've seen Black Ink VHO before. There's people in this chat I've never seen in my life. Black Ink is goaded. Exactly that. How many minutes of dominance does she have? Not much, dude. Like maybe, maybe two minutes. Claire Lopez has done a good job of getting back up to her feet. And reversing here. Osh Oshima gets the takedown, but Claire Lopez gets back up to her feet. Oshima, Oshima gets the arm bar. Oshima gets the arm bar. It's over. Oshima gets the arm bar. Oshima gets the arm bar and it is over. Claire Lopez taps. Claire Lopez taps. Oh my God. Oh my God. Out of nowhere. Out of nowhere. <laughs> Dude, and Oshima, she, she was getting pieced up in the striking. I knew that shit would happen. Lochi, I had to buy the pay-per-view Ryzen.tv. 
Told you, Shima looks straight out of Kill Bill, cold killer. I, Black Ink, showed up. Alpha Zeta, have a great night, dude. Have a great night. Thank you so much for joining. It's always some weird BS sub. It's random, JD. It's just if you're in the live chat or or, or watching live. All night long. I love how you get a trophy and you be given the mic and hey, Claire Lopez, despite now being eight and five, she had a good fight. Oshima wins, yes. Next thing you know, Lo uh, Lochi's getting a membership, dude. Probably, to be perfectly honest. Dude, there's been a lot of finishes on this card. That shit beautiful than a motherfucker. Let's go, baby. Let's go. We started off a little scary going three or one and three, but since then, seven in a row, eight and three right now on a rising card. That ain't bad. Even if I lose the next three, that ain't bad. Mm -hmm. Oops, I don't know what that was, Dylan. Sorry if I wasn't supposed to put that on, up on screen. It's 125 here as well, Benjamin. It's 125 here as well. I will see you tomorrow for UFC Mexico. <laughs> Dude, look at uh, uh, I was gonna I was gonna say Shatri, Saki Kabara son. <laughs> oh, Dylan, I'm so sorry. I just put that on screen for the world to see. Bro, you see this? No chill, dude. Dylan, you are seriously far too kind, my friend. Wow. Dylan's not only just like helping the community grow here in the live chat and obviously me as well and Kyle, but like he's literally sending people money so they can buy memberships. Unreal, man. Unreal. What promotion is this? Where is the rise and I used to know? Viva Mexico. Viva Mexico, cabrones. Or is it cabron? Pinche cabron. All I know is the swear words in Spanish. See you tomorrow, buddy. No, you should put it on screen and tell no children request six for me. We're begging you, no chill. Pretend it's 10 subs. Oh my goodness. Oh my god. You're killing me, no chill. Killing the MMA sugar daddy. <laughs> All right, guys. See, this is what I love about Ryzen. All right. So it's the end of that fight. Oshima's walking away. They fade right into the cold open for the next one. I have goosebumps right now. I love Japanese MMA. Featured fight, ladies and gentlemen. Yusuke Yachi against Rikuto Shirakawa. Shirakawa, by the way, taking this fight on short notice and up the weight class. Having said that, Yachi was still plus 120 on Betway on Thursday. <laughs> Oh, I sprinkled a little sum sum. Now it shows off the map. I think so. I think she was on, on her way to win. She was reversing after every single takedown. She was piecing her up on the feet. She was kneeing her in the face after stuffing takedowns. And here's my pick. Please let the win streak continue, Isha.
donut. Now my tiny 411 girlfriend is scampering around the house calling me the MMA sugar daddy. Nice. For your wallet and my topology pick streak. Let's go, Hank the Tank. <laughs> oh, I love how it's a family affair. Dylan and his girl, his better half, sit back with the community and watch fights. Our interests are aligned. <laughs> Base nickname, Dark. That's because you are the MMA sugar daddy. The MMA junkie and the MMA sugar daddy. Beautiful combo. Dude, donut, by the way, I could go for a fucking donut right now. I'm telling you. The napitis might not be kicking in yet. But the hunger is starting to. Fuck, I've been mucking so much peanut butter lately. I don't even have any left. I got to grab some tomorrow. This was a good cold open, by the way. Fuck yeah, dude. Fuck it. Okay, we'll highlight the fighters here in just a sec. I'm going to get the ticker up on the bottom of the screen. And we'll get right to it. Whoa, whose song is this? Bro, MMA Sugar Daddy is at it again. Are you kidding me? I'm digging this song. Whoa, he just had a war cry. Rikuto Shirakawa just had a war cry. Dude, what? My better quarter. <laughs> uh, the sugar daddy will accept anyone in his family, even the junkie. He gifted another fucking. <laughs> Dude, Dylan gifted another. I've lost track. I've lost track of how many. Dude, Dylan, what is this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Shout out to JL. Nine. And then what was it, like three or four in the other stream too? Are you kidding me? No fucking way. We'll never hear the end of it. Was it is it hockey from home? Dude. Okay, are we gonna take bets? Is hockey from home asleep right now or is she gonna show up and be like, bro, I got it? <laughs> no fucking way. We'll never hear the end of it. Genius billionaire playboy philanthropist. Yeah, who is this guy? Who is Dylan Chaikin, dude? Got a couple apartments, has a view that looks over the beautiful city. A nice snow blanket this year. It was hoggy from home. Mr. Grant Gregory, there's a new king in town and his name is Dylan C. Where the beanstalk? She's definitely going to kill Isha now. <laughs> and a grand fucking piano. Exactly that. And what was it, a $600 jacket or hoodie? He wore it on stream. <laughs> the membership is... <laughs> The membership is one step closer to Isha's house. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, we got to do a quick rundown here. Keep the comments coming. You guys are awesome. Dylan, again, thank you, man. I, I can't believe it. I, I know I keep saying this, but like, you are far too kind, man. Like, I straight up think Dylan is Oprah right now. But I've seen him. He's way too pale to be Oprah. <laughs> um... Shirakawa, by the way, taking this fight on short notice up a weight class. 
11, 9, and 1 as a pro, but on a surge right now. 4 and 1 in his last five fights. He did lose his last fight, though. Five KO TKO, zero submission, six decision. So we know how he might lose. He's only been submitted once, though. Three and two in rise and six, six and one in deep. Um, has fought some kickboxing as well throughout his career. Well, just one by the looks of it. Um, Yuzuki. Yuzuki Yachi, 25 and 13 as a pro. Six KO TKO, three submissions, 16 decisions. Nine and seven in Ryzen. He's competed under the Bellator banner once under a Bellator versus Ryzen card. Good win against Zach Zane, but again, look at his record. Um, Brutally lost against Gustav. He has been fighting really good guys. That's the thing. Like he beat Boyd Allen. He lost to Gustav. He lost to Souza. Beat Takeda. Beat Koana. So at least he's been facing the better competition. Um, I'm going with Yachi. And I sprinkled plus 120 yesterday. Are you shitting me? Or Thursday? Yeah, yesterday. Two days ago. Honestly, on a full camp for Shirakawa, I think this could be a close fight. I think Shirakawa is better than Yachi. I think he's overall a better fighter than Yachi. I think he's more dangerous than him. But on short notice, look how much smaller than him he is. I think Yachi's going to pressure him. I think he's going to land more strikes. I think Yachi just hits harder. And he's going to piece him up more volume-wise. Again, if this wasn't short notice, I think Shirakawa actually wins this one, but I got Yachi. Lock. All right, round one. Fuck, I could go for some quick trip right now, boys. A nice cup of coffee and uh, a breakfast croissant. Lucky in your home. 2600 dollars jacket and thank you. Keep the change, brother. Eleven nine G Sean. Sean's humor fits the chat perfectly, by the way. He's he's way smarter than me. Just like all you guys are way smarter than me. <laughs> Come on, Yachi, finish it quick. Be my eyes and ears for this one. Okay, I will. Sorry about that. Three minutes and 35 seconds on the clock. Oh, no. And Yachi got poked in the eye, and Shirakawa was going, no, no, don't be a bitch. You didn't get poked in the eye. Oh, yeah, quick trips 24-7. Right. Oh, he did get poked in the eye. <laughs> He did get poked in the eye. All right, he's ready to go, though. Yeah, there's one in Plymouth that's like 18 minutes away, 20 minutes away. No, we're back at it. We're back at it. Take that point. Three minutes and 19 seconds on the clock. Sean, I think I'm boxed in right now because there's a bunch of people... Staying in my house. Roommates, relatives. Shirakawa being more the aggressor here. Good head movement by Shirakawa as Yachi's looking for that counter right. Yachi being pressured outside that center line. You poked me in the eye, Captain Insano. Shows no mercy. Oh, a nice knee to the body. Yachi spamming knees here in the tie clinch. Two minutes and 42 seconds. Look, oh, huge knee by Yachi. Oh, she's coming. She's coming back. No, no, Hank, he looks good. He looks good. Hi, Kiki Tempo, Shirakawa, swing and a miss. Breathe, Hank. We got this, buddy. We got this.
<laughs> We're two minutes on the clock. Again, Shirokawa being a little bit more of the aggressor here, being the one pressuring Yachi backwards, man. But look how much bigger than Shirokawa Yachi is, dude. And he's looking for that big counter. There's a left by Yachi. Front kick by Shirokawa. Oh, and Yachi with a left and a right. Ooh. One minute, 28 seconds. Let's see it. Come on, Yachi. Dude, I think he's going to land. I think he's going to land. I'm feeling it, Hank. One minute, 15 seconds on the clock. Yachi's just fighting smart right now. It's it's just oh high kick by Yachi. Shirakawa, he blocked it, but still that was that was beautiful. Nice high kick time by Shirakawa. One minute left or fifty seconds left in this first round. Step in right that just misses the chin of Shirakawa. Oh, a nice right hand by Yachi. Shirakawa is just a little too like jerky out there right now. More, more, more. Outside low kick by Yachi. Shirakawa, the one thing I will say that's a little scary is he's not intimidated by Yachi. He's still moving forward. And he's taking away the distance of Yachi here, keeping him in one of those corners of the cage. And never mind, Yachi was able to reset here, center of the cage, final 10 seconds of the first round. I can't believe I'm invested in a rise and fight, and that is it for the first round. Hank the Tank, it's been a pretty good card overall, eh? It's been a pretty good card overall. Honestly, this card has been was better than the last uh, one championship card. Again, Superlek Takeru fight aside, it was better than the last numbered one championship card. You hear that, Shatri? Saki Kabara son. Team Saki Kabara song. I have that one for Yachi personally. He landed the bigger shots. It has been a good card. Using my imagination and Twitter to watch Rise and Hey, no chill. I hope my commentary, my whispering ass commentary, and Twitter highlights help. Imagination's goaded. Use the imagination box. That's a square. Box would be like... A box would be like this. That's a box. I mean, it's a cube, but it's also a box. All right, round two. What am I even talking about? Is this three rounds? Yes. Imagination. How did I remember that? I didn't even watch. Uh, maybe I did watch a lot of that show growing up. My young, I have two younger siblings, and uh, they they watched SpongeBob, or at least one of them did. Patrick was my favorite character. Oh, nice takedown there by Yachi, but right back up to his feet is Shirakawa. And Shirakawa's pissed. Shirakawa's throwing some bombs here, but none of them are landing. Yachi lands a knee to the body and resets center of the cage. Four minutes and 10 seconds on the clock. High kick by Yachi, blocked by Shirakawa, but man. Why is this fight so high on the card? Well, activated. Remember, four big fights on this card were removed because uh, the freaking Azerbaijanis arrested for hooliganism. So that's why Imanari is the freaking co-main event of the evening for fuck's sakes. 
I was jealous of you, Sean, so I took what was most important to you. Here, pretty little head. Everyone, have a good day. You should see you tonight. I'm going to catch some sleep before UFC was up all night. It's morning already. See you. Good night, buddy. Yeah, dude, three fighters and their coach. Good night, Vol King. Again, appreciate you, Dylan. Thank you, brother. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Been like the next membership stream next week is going to be lit as fuck. And I got some great highlights already teed up. Yeah. Oh, sorry, by the way, uh, I think the tank Yachi right now controlling Shirakawa, pushing him up against the cage, just landing knees, getting that control time. Yeah, I got you. I got you. Yachi again continuing to push Shirakawa up against the cage, knees, and just utilizing that strength and size. I love ACA. Now, politics and how it's run aside, I love it. It's like KSW, a bunch of juiced up guys um, going to town, throwing bombs most of the time. And even the grappling matches usually end in submissions. ACAs are usually pretty good, usually are pretty good cards. ACA 178 is one of the greatest cards I've ever seen. One minute and 55 seconds on the clock. Or at least, it, I mean, it could be one of the greatest cards I've ever seen, to be perfectly honest, but it was easily top three in 2023. Dude, I can't believe it. 30 viewers at 3 a.m., this is unbelievable. Thank you, every single one of you. <laughs> Yachi looking to take down Shirakawa, and he does body lock and landing some muffin shots to his face. And look at look at the whole live chat is is pretty much exclusive members here. Sorry, no chill. But you're pretty much a member, no chill. Like the stream, guys. Yes, like the stream. We're trying to get to thirty likes on the video. 55 seconds on the clock, and Yachi is fighting a very smart fight here. You're making it happen, Captain. Thanks for making the card fun, Dylan. Everybody leaves the note joke and gives him membership. No. I mean, yes, but no. A. Oh, another big knee by Yachi. Yachi, now look for the back of Shirakawa. All green, no beans. 3 a.m. I basically have my lunch at that time. Cute. Hey, thank you, buddy. Beautiful back take by Yachi. 10 seconds left and he's looking for the rear naked choke. It's not under the chin. It's not under the chin. He's not going to tap. He's not going to tap. He's got, he's, got, he's got time, man. And that's it. That's it for the run. Wait, did he go to sleep? The fight is over. Oh, 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 oh my god. Oh my god. The fight is over. The fight is over. The fight is over. Yachi put Sirakawa to sleep. Yachi put Shirakawa to sleep. Though the bell rung, though Shirakawa did not tap, he was asleep. When the bell rung, oh my god. <laughs> he woke up here and doesn't even know he lost. But now he knows and he's upset. Let's go. Let's go, Chad. Let's fucking go. What a comeback. What a comeback. Bro, it's 2 a.m. And we're on the co-main event of the evening. I love Ryzen starting early. Boom. Oh. 
We do this night owl shit over here. Pound it. We did it, Hank the Tank. We fucking did it. We fucking did it. I haven't even made coffee yet. We're making bank, dude. I I actually I actually made some money on that. I cannot believe he was plus one twenty. No chill. I do pretty good on UFC. Like always over. Like there's only one. Only on that Toronto card was I under five hundred. Maybe yeah. I think I was under five hundred of them. But uh, Ryzen, I do pretty good. For for Ryzen's sake, this is this is this is really good. But shout out to the We Are Ryzen podcast. I listen to them before I make my picks, and I don't copy them necessarily, but I do take notes and apply, you know, what they say, and keep that in mind when I watch tape. He's with the best picks of his life. No, I forget what UFC card, but there was a UFC card where I missed by two, and one of them was an admitted Hail Mary. And you know what the sad part was? Um, I gave my buddy the picks, and he made a parlay and one off. Isha's plus 100 in memberships and MMA bets today, at least, dude. I'm, I'm just, I can't believe it. I'm so thankful, Dylan. What was the sad part? Did I say something about being sad? No, I mean, I've missed. I've never gone perfect. I've, I've missed by one once, and I missed by like two or three times, a bunch of times. I mean, no chill. I mean, maybe when I was younger, I did, but I never like wrote them down or anything like that. But I'd make picks with my dad growing up. Your buddy cashed in. Oh, you're cold open for the co-main event. My girlfriend just said Ryzen is her favorite going ring shop and now be that. You better put a ring on that. Best on Jun, loving Ryzen, loving girl. Oh my goodness. She's a keeper. Gotta get that rock. <laughs> Hey, Dylan, if she can cook gourmet sabzi as well, dude, oh my goodness. Who won this fight, dude? Yachi won this fight. Yachi won this fight. Submission at the end of the first round. I can't believe that Imanari is fighting. 48 years old looking for that 40th win. I can't believe it. Unbelievable. Ryan Hall's not even fighting anymore, yet Imanari is co main eventing a Ryzen card. Absolutely insane. We better see a fucking heel hook. That's all I'm saying. You get a ring. You get a ring. You get a ring. And that's when hockey from home just tackles me down. I'm going to break in your house. I'm going to tackle you on stream. <laughs> Sorry for the shit talk. I'll break in your house though. Pocket from home locks the heel hook. Dude, it still it still blows my mind that Iminari is still fighting. 
Mazakazu Iminari, ladies and gentlemen. 39 wins, one shy of 40. You look at this guy, this absolute beauty making his walk out now. 22 losses, two draws. One KOTKO, 28 submissions, 10 decisions. He's fought in Dream. He's fought in one championship. He's fought in Pride FC. And he's fought in Ryzen. He's fought in all three iterations of Sakaki Baro's son's promotion. And a little bit of one championship. Unbelievable. 48 years of age. Lost to Jiro Suzuki. Lost to Ishida. But lost to the champion. Lost to... You know, a, a decent, well-rounded fighter. He beat Kasugai, which isn't a bad win. Lost to Takizawa. Takizawa, is, he's a capable capable guy. Has some wins in grappling. He fucking beat Kwan Wan Il, bro. He beat my fucking boy Kwan Wan Il. Emotional damage. He got that heel hook, baby. Put it this way. Is he past his prime? Absolutely. Is he chasing that 40th win? Absolutely. Is Majima a hard a hard task for him to get that? Absolutely. This guy's 32 years of age. This guy also is a decent grappler on a two-fight win streak. 16 and 4. One KOTKO, 13 submissions, two decisions. They're, they're the same fucking fighter. 7 0 in Shuto, 2 and 3 in Ryzen. On a two fight win streak, my opponents, whatever. Lost to the top of his division, though. Kleber, Sato, Kanehara. I'm going with Majima. Minus 650 scares the fucking shit out of me, though. Please, please, Majima, I'm begging you. Do not play jujitsu. Do not play into Imanari's game. Because I know he's a grappler. He's going to want to try to submit Imanari. Just keep this on the feet. Keep this on the feet. If Majima keep this, keeps this on the feet, forces this on the feet, forces Imanari to go for takedowns, he can soccer kick the old man in the face. He can knee Imanari in the head. I love Imanari. But that's what Majima has to do. Imanari, by the way, hasn't taken a lot of damage in his last few fights. Even in losses, he hasn't been knocked out. This is either going to be a fun grappling match with a lot of scrambles, or this is going to be a weird fight where Majida evades takedowns and looks for counter strikes. But I'm going with Majima. As much as I want to see Imanari get that 40th win, Majima's the smart pick, right? But this is Rise, and maybe that was the dumb pick. My foot was like a balloon. The foot came out of the socket. <laughs> I felt so bad for Imanari when Mikey Musumeci worked him like a little boy. Jolie's wife. Japanese mentality, no retirement until you're broken physically. It's true. I imagine he wants that that 4-0, that 40th win. Damn, motherfuckers don't know when to stop. This is the Japanese equivalent to Jason Von Flew, co-main eventing a 2024 fight night. Bro, no chill. Did you know um, that Minoa man is still fighting? And he's, oh, I think he's like in his fucking 60s, bro. Like, Ken Shamrock is younger than him. <laughs> I'm shit, shit when he gets subbed by Imanari. 
this rising card's great. I'll forgive this company. I say Minari tries a roll within 15 seconds. The Iminari roll. There's a sushi place in town that has an Iminari roll. Minimal Man versus Mark Coleman 2024. Well, we know... Um, what's his name? Golden Boy Boxing. Um, God, this is with the napitis is kicking in. Fucking fake abs. U.S. Olympic boxer, Oscar De La Hoya. You know he's going to do that. Iminari has to stop by there sometime. And instead of the... It, it's actually a eel roll, not a heel roll. You know what I'm saying? It's an eel hook, Iminari roll. I'm not even kidding. They know their MMA, clearly. Shout out to Billy Sushi. All right, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Co-main event of the evening. Eel roll is correct. All right, three rounds, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to see... Claudio Puel is trying to do Imanari rolls every five seconds and failing. All right, let's go, ladies and gentlemen. Round one. Let's go. Center of the cage. Four minutes and 50 seconds on the clock. Imanari looking for a low kick. Oh, there we go. Imanari looking for the roll. Imanari hops in right into Pol pulling guard he was looking to spin there and grab the ankle but now he's just holding guard and he's gonna hold here and wait for the ref to stand him up better than seeing ryan hall do it i live right near his gym and i never will step foot into that slop is it that bad Bro, that was 15 seconds. Exactly that. Three minutes and 50 seconds on the clock. Imanari trying to control the right arm of Majima. Majima in the full guard of Imanari. Imanari knows what he's doing. Trust. You hate Ryan Hall. His gym could be fine for all I know. Why do you hate Ryan Hall? I, I rooted for him on that season of The Ultimate Fighter. Imanari looking for the ankle. Dude, he's still got it, bro. He's looking for the ankle. Oh my god, Imanari might get this. Imanari might get this. Three minutes and 16 seconds on the clock. Good job so far, but Majima, yeah, he crossed over that right ankle. Good job by Majima, but Imanari is still holding that right ankle. Calf slicer, no way. Come on, Imanari. And a good job by Majima for getting out of that. Knees planted back in the top position in Imanari's guard. Yeah, Majima hasn't thrown any striking yet, bro. He's got to throw some striking. Two minutes and 40 seconds on the clock. Ryan Hall is just a grandiose dork. He's not an MMA fighter. Just compete in grappling if you can't punch. A fair point. It was fun to watch him on that season of The Ultimate Fighter. Musumeci must be made of rubber because he gave him Nari everything he needed. Yep. Dude, Musumeci does look like he's made of rubber. He just looks like he's just a pasta noodle. He's a straight up noodle boy. There we go. Some nice left elbows by Majima in the full guard of Imanari. Two minutes left on the clock. By the way, big shout out to JD still still with us here today. Hank, Dylan, the whole nine yards. You guys are awesome. No chill MMA. Donut. 
Activate A. Everyone who's been rolling with us all day. You guys are awesome. Indeed a noodle, but a cool dude. I hope he's the next one to beat up Sneeko. The beanstalk is still growing. It's true. One minute and eight, 18 seconds on the clock. <laughs> but everyone's falling asleep. Everyone's falling asleep watching this fight. I don't blame them. Fuck, I might skip the boxing fight. I don't know. We'll see. I might actually get some sleep. We'll see. Undecided. Fifty three seconds on the clock. Mikey Musumetri is literally on steroids. He must be, dude. <laughs> yep, I'm baked. 35 seconds on the clock. Too much content this weekend. There's so much, dude. As much as I want to see the mini monster fight, I might have to prioritize some sleep. We'll see. We'll see. 21 seconds on the clock. You're skipping that boxing? Okay. Well, if Activate A is skipping it, I don't feel as bad. Maybe I'll just go on for the main event because the main event's in five hours, I think. We'll see. Final seconds of this first round. Majima on his feet just kicking the legs of Iminari. Okay, I don't feel as bad now. I don't feel as bad. I just love Japanese boxing so much, but I'm getting my Japanese combat sports fix with Ryzen. And a good Ryzen card as well. Big shout out to everybody joining us live here. Smash that like button if you haven't already. Subscribe to the channel. We do live play-by-play -play commentary reaction and interaction with all the amazing folks in the live chat here. And usually I ain't whispering like a crazy person. But it's 2 a.m. where I'm at right now and I'm trying not to wake up my whole house. Everybody should be baked on their birthday. Let's make it a rule. I like that rule. I'll be baked on my birthday too. All right, round two, guys. Let's get it on. Let's get it on. I mean, interesting first round. Imanari actually had a legit submission attempt, and Majima didn't land that many strikes, so Imanari probably won that first round. I know Ryzen is judged as a whole, but if we're going to break it down round by round, I'm big stuffed and toasted. Motion is passed. It's rising hours where Isha does his ASMR special. Oh, and a nice takedown by Majima landing some big shots on Imanari. Imanari doing his best job to block here and push off of him. And he does do a good job. Let's see if he can scoop up a heel or an arm. And Imanari scoops up a heel here. Jima got a little excited indeed, but Imanari still on his back, and Majima re-enters his guard. Four minutes on the clock. Scoop it. I wish Hank and I didn't pick uh, opposite guys here. Big right elbows by Majima. That's what he needs to do. Left elbow by Majima. Majima holding the right arm of oh my goodness of Imanari landing some big right elbows Imanari taking a lot of damage here and again Imanari is almost 50 years old and he's eating elbows so many elbows oh Imanari looking for the arm bar looking for the arm bar oh my goodness oh Imanari wins Imanari wins he got it he got it oh. Win number 40. Win number 40. Imanari gets it. Imanari came in on short notice. Imanari came in on short notice. Are you kidding me?
That shit beautiful than a motherfucker. Win number 40 for the legend. Win number 40. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. Look at this man. And it looks like the arm might be broken. Majima's arm might be broken. Oh my god. He broke his arm. Oh, 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 oh. You can see it. You can see the arm break. You can see the arm break. Oh my goodness. Honestly, man, I don't even care. If there's any pick that I want to get wrong on this one, it's freaking Imanari getting his 40th win. 40 freaking wins in mixed martial arts. It was like Tim Sylvia. You saw that shit pop. Hey, it was a great win streak while it lasted, guys. Look like the Fury one. You should add this one to your soundboard. Kudos to the OG. That's why he's the goat, the goat. I should get that. I should add that to my soundboard, actually. Uh, AP. And what's up, AP? It's good to see you. 48 years old. And look, just bowing to the audience like he's your... He just seems like your cool fucking uncle, Imanari. He seems like just everyone's cool uncle. I can't believe it. The old man does it. I'm, I'm blown away. Short but sweet with his uh, speech as well. Bro, it's it's not even 4 a.m. yet, and we're on the main event for a rising card. Incredible. God, I gotta tweet this. What a legend, man. I'm I am like like I might shed a tear right now. Like, I have goosebumps. This is one of those, like, moments in sports, man. 40th win. Fortieth win in pro MMA. Breaking a dude's arm. Unbelievable. All right, we got the main event of the evening coming up next here. And honestly, this one should be a banger, dude. Because Luis Gustavo is a motherfucker. Man, I'm just still buzzing over Imanari. But we have a main event here. We have a main event here. There had to be one upset for it to be a rising card. And for it to be a freaking minus 800 losing... Well, I guess Suzuki. Suzuki won, and that was he was a he was an underdog. Wow. All right. Main event of the evening. We have made it, ladies and gentlemen. Luis Gustavo against Yoshinori Hori. Two great names in Ryzen. And good cold open, too, man. Samurai sword and all. Imanari wins. Dude, Shinobi Imanari win. He broke the guy's arm. He broke Majima's arm, dude. No bet, just baked. I remember when Nam Fan fought Imanari and it was over so fast. Nam Fan didn't even know what happened. Dude, I know. What a legend. 40th win. 40th win. 
40th win in pro MMA. It's unbelievable. I'm so proud of that guy. I'm so happy and proud of him. Almost 50 years old. Unbelievable. It's good to see you, by the way, Shinobi. Good to see you. All right, guys. Main event of the evening coming up next here. And again, I've been doing pretty good with predictions here tonight. Pretty good with predictions. Shout out to the We Are Rising podcast for breaking down this card ever so eloquently. All right, Yoshinori Hori, 13 and 4 as a pro in mixed martial arts. Uh, 4 and 1 in his last five fights, coming off a win. 28 years of age. Six KOTKO, zero submission, seven decision, four and one in Ryzen, and zero and one in the UFC, if you recall. Absolutely dismantled Spike Carlisle in his last fight, before then lost to Vugar Karamov, who was supposed to be on this fight, but that damn hooligan, that damn hooligan, I tell you. Beat Hirotaka, Nakata, uh, Sazakai. And Seki as well, who all, I mean, the 4 one guy, whatever, but the rest, decent opponents, as Hori's making his walk out now. And the beautiful sounds of Lene Hart's voice ringing through my iPad speaker. He actually has some good wins and some good fights in both Pancrase, UFC, and Ryzen, respectively. So again, Hori at lightweight, one of, or sorry, yeah, at lightweight, because that's what they're fighting at right now. One of the better fighters in this promotion. His opponent, the killer, Luis Gustavo, 13-2, and two, also 4-1 and one in his last five fights, but he's on a three-fight win streak, 27 years old. 7 KOTK, 5 submission, 1 decision. That's what you like to see. Five and two in Ryzen, three and zero oh in Katana fight. Fuck! I just remembered. I forgot to throw my laundry in the dryer. Oh, gross! I'm gonna have to deal with that in the morning. Beat Takeda, Ohara, and Yachi in his last fights. Three decent wins. One good win. One meh win. One bad win. Lost to Patricky Pitbull and Mikuru Asakura. No shame in that. No shame in that. Went on an absolute run in Katana before Ryzen. Gustavo about to make his walk out now. In these landmark shows, by the way, shorter walk to the ring. Oh, nice walkout song. Is this 50 Cent? In the blue corner. What's up, Lenny Hart? Let's go. All right. I'm going with Luis Gustavo. He is the favorite at minus 210. <laughs> Brazil versus Japan, ladies and gentlemen. That shit beautiful than a motherfucker. An aggressive fighter in Gustavo versus a very technical counter striker in Hori. Luis Gustavo is usually the volume striker, and he's a blitz puncher. More of a brawler versus technical striker matchup here. Gustavo's always in incredible shape. He's got good cardio. Hori is a decent grappler, grappler and maybe he's a little bit more well-rounded. But Gustavo's style fits his nickname. He is a killer. And Hori's not as dangerous as Gustavo. Hori's a good underdog, plus 160, but I'm going with Gustavo. <laughs> Let's end this card on a win, baby. I just want to see a butt scoot race from them jujitsu guys. Who's the fastest? <laughs> Seeing veterans win is the best. Dude, I'm still buzzing off the Iminari win as well. I haven't even had... This is the first Ryzen live stream that I haven't had to have coffee. I've just been sipping on water. No beer, no coffee, no nothing. Just great fights and good vibes, boys. 
like Mr. Crab and SpongeBob and Patrick asses. Eminari keeps Hall's arms after the fight and puts it in his mantle. <laughs> Again, big shout to Dylan for gifting out all those memberships, man. Again, thank you, thank you, thank you. Eminari bodies Hall, treats him like a redhead stepchild. Hall could never. We're junkies for MMA. And leave it to a landmark card of all Ryzen cards to deliver. My heart is beating out like through my chest, dude. Through my fucking chest. Punch a hole through his fucking chest. Oh my goodness. I can't believe I'm feeling good as, uh, after a Ryzen card. Well, I hope that's the new norm, buddy. I'm always feeling hungry after a Ryzen card. All right, here we go. Fighters are about to be announced in the center of the cage. That's right. Happy birthday, Activate 8. Ryzen's doing it in a cage here tonight for you. Weidman took the coach's advice. He did. Dylan's going to walk into on walk in on membership days with a red carpet. Low key. He's the man. Exactly that. But he made the hit, but he missed the hit on Silva's head instead. <laughs> oh, Yoshinori Hori being announced in the center of the cage. Though I love the rise and ring, and I love how those small ropes have way more resistant than those massive ropes that one championship has. But the the cage in rise and it's it's pretty good. It's pretty badass. It, it's not. It's about medium size. It's not huge, which I do prefer a bigger cage. But it's not super small like those smaller regional shows on Fight Pass. Yeah, I honestly don't think this one goes the distance. And if it does, it's going to be a freaking scrap, ladies and gentlemen. Because Gustavo, man, he's sick. Only two losses. All right, here it is, guys. Thank you to every single one of you who've joined us here today. Round one, final fight, main event of the evening. Ryzen Landmark 8 in Saga. Final fight, round one. Let's get it! Let's get it on. 15 fights on this card, too. They can't stick their head out of the cage to avoid a sub. That beautiful bell rings. And here we go. Wide stance for Hori. I hate it when they do that in the ring. This has been a really fun stream, guys. And I think we have Ryzen Landmark 9 in like three weeks. Bro, no chill. Yo, you, you got 15 minutes left in you. You got 15 minutes left in you. You're gonna fall asleep, see for KSW, Epic, let's fucking go forward to 6 million, 60 million subscribers. <laughs> Big shout to no chill MMA. Go subscribe to his channel if you haven't already. I can't wait to listen to his video before I go to sleep. Oh, high kick by Gustavo. Hori caught it and landed a couple right hands. Let's go. Let's go. One of us. One of us. That shit beautiful than a motherfucker. Yo, this is the last fight, buddy. You got to stay awake for it. All right, they separate. Three minutes and 41 seconds on the clock. Dude. Oh, he looks actually really big. He looks bigger than Gustavo. <laughs> now is your chance, Dylan. Don't tempt Dylan because he will do it. Gotta finish it off at this point. Already at the finishing, already at the finish line. And Hori's looking good so far. Nice body kick by Gustavo. Gustavo with a left and a right. Hori looking for that counter left. What did I say? He likes them counter punches. Dude, Hori looks good so far. Inside low kick by Hori. Two minutes on the clock. Or three minutes on the clock.
Two minutes and 49 seconds. Oh, nice left and right by Hori. Gustavo with the left and right. Hori stumbles. Body kick by Gustavo. Left and right by Gustavo. Only the left lands. Again, that's the thing. I don't think we're going to see a lot of action. And then we're going to see a ton of action by both these guys just throwing hands. Dude, shout out to the Saga crowd here. The Japanese crowd never disappoint, ladies and gentlemen. Outside low kick by Gustavo. Maybe the Azerbaijani crowd, but it wasn't their fault. Their, their champion was dethroned. Straight left jab by Hori. Hori stalking Gustavo, keeping him outside that center line. Gustavo with a body kick. Outside low kick by Hori. Gustavo looking to set up this calf kick now. Gustavo trying to spam that left and right. Ooh, right hand by Gustavo. Oh, Dylan, Dylan, he strikes again. One last chance, one last chance. Come on, no chill. Please tell me it was you. Please tell me it was you. Damn it. Dude, Dylan, thank you so much, buddy. <laughs> who, who is it? Who is it? Final minute of the first round. Damn, he's back. Oprah never dies. Oh, big shot by Gustavo. Just dropped Hori. Big shot by Gustavo. Just dropped Hori. No chill cocked. <laughs> Dylan is so goaded. Dylan, thank you, dude. Thank you. 30 seconds on the clock here, and Hori pushing Gustavo up against the cage. Gustavo just dropped Hori. Finish him. Dude, who got it? Who got it? Ready Samadhi. Hey, Ready Samadhi is awesome, by the way. Ready Samadhi is, is a, a regular community member. One of our one of our uh, French fans who joins us for all uh, Eris, UFC when they go to Paris and just joins us for UFC regularly as well. Maybe Samadhi fell asleep watching Anshul for president. Based based French, and that's it for the first round. Oh, dude, Gustavo with that right and then that left hook. Beautiful, beautiful. Dusty Tabanak, where are you? Where are you, Ready Samanti? Nap time. Ready BSD is going to get beaten up. Feel free to join the beauty rest session. Drum roll for the recipient. <laughs> Dude, again, big shout out to Dylan, man. He's given out so many freaking memberships. I can't believe it. I mean, I can because Dylan does this every, every few weeks. So thank you, buddy. Oh, my goodness. Unbelievable. Thank you, JL. All right, round two, ladies and gentlemen. Let's I screwed that one up. Four minutes and 42 seconds on the clock. And a good way to end that first round for Gustavo, who landed that beautiful overhand right, and then a follow-up left hook that landed square on the chin of Hori. Yes, Majima's arm's broken. The lone JL membership. What a beauty. Yeah, what's up, A, B, C, D, Y? A, B, C, D, Y. 
Hori biting on Gustavo's veins. Hori with an in, with a step in left hook. Oh, bro, how? Oh, and looking for the takedown is Hori and Gustavo pulls guard. Gustavo controlling the neck of Hori here, but this is not going to, no, he's not going for a submission. In the top position is Hori right now. Modified half guard side control. Three minutes and 20 seconds on the clock. Three minutes and 10 seconds. Almost in side control here is Hori, but a good job by Gustavo turning towards the cage. So even if Hori does pass to side control here, he won't have any room to work. One of my roommates just woke up. Gotta change my name to No Sleep. Oh, looks like Hori might be trying to set up an arm triangle choke. Two minutes and 21 seconds on the clock. Oh, big left hand by Hori in the top position. Exactly that. Not Bilal, though. I did that last one solely because No Chill said he's riding for the last 15 minutes, so you can thank him for that one. Thank you, No Chill. Sorry, that's way too loud. Good round for Hori. I mean, boring round for Hori, but smart round for Hori. Nice knee by Hori. He is trying to work here in the top position. He's not just laying. He's not just praying. But the ref is calling for more action. One minute, six seconds. He's laying and praying. Fifty seconds left on the clock. Gustavo is. Oh, I was just gonna say Gustavo's doing a good job of holding that right arm of Hori, but he let it go there right when I said that. My girlfriend says no chill hasn't missed a stream. Taken all night, damn it. I want this guy I want this guy's membership. I want this guy to have a membership. That win was like Glover winning the belt. Isha add ASMR in the description. I should, I should. Oh, big left elbow by Hori at the bell. JD, JD. JD gifting the membership. All right, end of the second round. We're going into the third. It's tied going into the third, but JD, thank you for the donation last stream. Thank you for gifting a membership. No chill, type something. No. God damn it. Why? Why can't the wheel land on no chill? Archer, Archer is Archer is good. I mean Archer is good. Archer is a beauty. 
Archers are BKFC and 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 Resident Rise and fan as well. Oh jeez, Louise. <laughs> no chill. Archer's French as well. Yep, he's in our Discord all the time. Shout out to Archer. All right, third and final round. French army taking over. Tabanacales. The boys are trying on, or uh, no chill. The boys are trying. Oh, nice push kick by Hori. And look for the takedown here is Yoshinori Hori. That's what, that's what brought him success so far in this fight. So that's where he's going. The French have taken back their spoils from the Germans this stream. Separating Gustavo, looking for that right hand. Oh, nice shot there by Gustavo. I think it's the same as in Discord. His first name and his last name. Three minutes and 58 seconds on the clock. Three minutes and 37 seconds. Oh my God, Dylan. Again. I can't believe this. By the way, the crowd is cheering for Hori right now. The crowd is cheering in Japan for Hori. Mama needs new shoes. Dude, Dylan, come on. Please, come on, no chill, Lord Guru. Who the fuck? Who the fuck is Lord Guru? Oh my God, Dylan. I'm sorry for laughing. I just can't believe it. How do I do it on my phone? I want to join. I don't know how to do it on your phone. Two minutes and 36 seconds on the clock. And a left and a right by Hori. My favorite live stream ever. Well, it would be better if you got one of those damn memberships. There has to be more than 16 fucking people in the stream. How is this possible? <laughs> Two minutes on the clock, third and final round. What's up, Adnan? Adnan, I'm, it's a moving target. I'm getting a little tired, so we'll see. Oh, and a nice left by Gustavo. <laughs> oh, he's breathing deeply. Nice straight left by Hori. Gustavo looking for that right hand. Gustavo with a left and a right. Gustavo looking to end this. Adnan, has the card started yet? Adnan's probably so confused. Dude, what a war. Both of these guys' faces are bruised and battered. One minute on the clock. <gasps> Gustavo, Gustavo just knocked out. Gustavo just knocked out Hori. Hori's still alive. Somehow, Hori's still alive. Gustavo is painting him red. Painting him red. 42 seconds. How did Hori stay conscious? Oh my goodness, that I think that won back the round. I think that won back the round and won the fight. 
Actually, I just posted a tutorial how to do it on your phone in Discord. Adnan, I might do the main event in a couple hours, but again, it's a moving target. I need to take a little bit of a break after this, but if you see the stream go up, it means we're doing it. And that is it for the fight, ladies and gentlemen. Look at the cut on Hori's freaking head. Look at Gustavo. He's on the cage. Isha's inner kicking a man when he is down toxicity. 42 seconds. That's two times as long as my last relationship. Exactly that. Pride never dies, motherfuckers. <laughs> what is that username? You are subscribed, right? No chill. <laughs> yes, with bells on for notification. Imanari, Imanari, Imanari one. Bro, this fight went the distance, and I and I'm not even mad. Look at that cut on Hori, dude. What? Oh my god. Gustavo's fired up. Gustavo can fight two more rounds. Gustavo could fight two more rounds if he wanted to. Ozzy, you missed you missed uh, LFA today. Ozzy, you just drop in at the wrong times. Boom, Gustavo wins this one. Boom, bitch, let's go. Let's go. Getting the win. I cleaned up today. Yeah, Aussie ASMR. I I think I was only whispering for like an hour this morning. And then it's it's three, it's almost three a.m. right now. So I've been whispering here tonight. But you missed LFA where I was hooting and hollering. Tomorrow, I promise. No whispering, only screaming. Let's freaking go. Oh, Long John, oh, Don Johnson, oh, Grand Piano. Easy choice, the cut said it all. Exactly that. We need to wait until Isha's prediction streams and then give no chill his prize. What an outstanding card, ladies and gentlemen. After going one and three in predictions, eight prediction streak, Majima, I don't even care about getting that one wrong, and then Luis Gustavo, man. Dude, Imanari won. Imanari won. Six live years every time, including me, yep. What is with all these weird names? He won. What a goaded stream. Guys, we might do boxing in like an hour. I'm if I'm put it this way, if I don't calm down in an hour, we're gonna do boxing. But if not, we will be doing KSW later, as well as the last couple fights of Bellator versus PFL, UFC Mexico, ACA 171, baby. Old man power. Dude, Brazil comes out on top in Japan. Oh my goodness. Activating. Oh my god. Are you fucking kidding me? I'm just kidding. I didn't actually yell. No way. Bellator versus PFL would be card card of the week, dude. I think KSW epic. No chill, 
wait till the end of the stream while everyone is dropping. I'll do it. The birthday boy is giving away his own present. Bro, who was it? Who got that one? I'm telling you the motherfucking man. That shit was too complicated on my phone. KSW will be best always is. Bro, Isha's inner kicking a man when he's down toxicity is going to get an exclusive member. <laughs> Another one. Another one. Please, Lord, please, please be no chill. Hernan. <laughs> Dude, look how many. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, thank you, JL, 13, 14 memberships tonight, 14 motherfucking memberships, Jesus, H. Hernan is a regular, though, Hernan is awesome, the food he gets is, God damn it. It's like we're playing the lottery to get no chill MMA a membership, I want to play again, <laughs> I feel bad because, like, I want to play too, but I don't even know how to do this. I should just do it from a different account. Should I, can I, I think I can donate to my own stream, right? I think I can donate to my own stream. <laughs> Let me try. <laughs> I'm getting out of here. I'm the curse. Obligatory thank you, JL. 15 total people here. How in the world, JD and Activate Assemble? <laughs> Come on, Nisha, our knight in shining armor. I'm going to try to do it from my phone. Oh, wait, I can't. Oh, wait, can I gift a member? Fuck. I used to be able to do it easily, but they changed it. Oh, Mr. Grant Gregory, Mr. Grant Gregory, gifting 10 memberships. Bro, you did not have to do that, Mr. Grant. Hey, I owe you a voice memo. I just saw your reply, or I just saw your message earlier today. I didn't ignore it, I swear. I just totally missed it. Holy shit. Come on, please. Boom! Member for 13 months. Let's <laughs> Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Dude, no chill. You gotta get it. You gotta get it. No fucking way, dude. <laughs> How is No Chill not getting a membership? How is No Chill not getting a membership? We've been literally trying. The boys in the live chat have been trying for like three hours to get No Chill a goddamn membership. <laughs> it's over. Are you kidding me? No. Does no chill have it turned on? Oh, could dude, no chill. Do you have it turned? Do you have members turned on? <laughs> Turn it on, no chill, please. <laughs> Click the box on the top of the stream and make sure it's turned on. Try to see if you got one. Except, dude, Mr. Grant, you did not have to do that, by the way, sir. Like, I still owe Mr. Grant a voice memo. Donut sense I didn't even have it turned on. Oh, my God. Emotional damage. Could you imagine? Click the present up top. Bro. Bro. 
Dylan gifts another membership. Mr. Grant re-ups for 13 months and gives out 10. I can't believe it. I'm speechless, guys. Like, this next membership stream is going to be absolutely insane. Dylan and Mr. Grant, thank you. JD, thank you. JL, thank you. Activate a happy fucking birthday and thank you. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. If you have it turned off, I will guide you. I'll gouge your eyes out. Try to see if you got one and accept. Click that. There's a side box. Click the top, top, or click on the 10 gifted no chill. I didn't have it turned on. Click join, then gift settings. <laughs> This has become a side quest. I think I'm actually that unlucky. <laughs> Bro, who the fuck is this, by the way? <laughs> oh, goodness. I am blown away. Not only did the card deliver, but like we got Matt, we grew the community in the form of obviously donations too. So thank you a thousand times. Thank you. And this has been just comical as well. Allow gifts? There's no collect for me? Bro, what the fuck is going on? Yo, no chill. Fucking sign into your Gino account? What? I'm not going to bed until I see a black dot next to no chill MMA. Thank you, Mr. Grant Gregory. Thank you so much. Yeah, we hit it last weekend. We hit it last weekend. His turn to the right means on. That must be Funkmaster Flay. Gotta be him. <laughs> it could be Funkmaster Flay, to be perfectly honest. It does mean that. We're cursed. We're cursed. Hold on, hold on. I'm going to look up. There must be a way for me to give a membership. I have to give a membership. It used to be so easy, but they updated... YouTube didn't update it and complicated everything. I don't even know who that is, but I bet he is awesome. Give it to him directly. I'm 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 working on it, Hank. I'm working on it. Okay. Oh oh hold on, hold on. Membership tab. I might be able to give one away. Um, oh, come on. Bro, there's got to be an easier way than this. Hmm. These fucking jabronis getting memberships and not the guy in the stream the whole time? I gotta be glitched or something. My gift thing has been turned on. No chill. We're gonna figure this out. So it's Funkmaster. Might only work if there's only one person in the chat at this point. Well, it was a nice shot. No, no. We're gonna figure this shit out. Give me one sec. I found a YouTube tutorial. I'm gonna finish this shit out.
for fuck's sake. Oh, they, they changed it. Like I said, I used to be able to hand one one free one out a month. Scatter. This is my white whale at this point. Oh, honestly, maybe it's just not no chills morning. Maybe later today, no chill will will get one. We'll figure we'll figure out a way. I will figure out a way. No chill to gift you a, a goddamn membership. The least you can the least you guys can do to no chill by the way. Since he has not received a goddamn membership, the least you can do is subscribe to his channel. Coy coitently, coitently. Everyone scram, I'll do it. I'm fucking scramming. Have a great night, Hank the Tank. Joe Hogan, you missed a crazy live chat too. Send me the message in the Discord. Will do, buddy. Scatter Joe. <laughs> scram. We're trying to gift a membership to No Chill MMA, but he's at the worst luck ever. Game over. It was a good. It was a good card, Joe. It was a good card, bro. I have to go to bed. I can't keep waiting up. As much as I know, it's like it is making me money. <laughs> oh my goodness! Okay, if we don't get down to five subscribe, five live viewers in the next minute, then <laughs> lol at the game over emoji. Ban everyone but him and Gift. Oh my god. Just literally give everyone a timeout here in the live chat. I mean, theoretically that could work. Theoretically that could work. Everybody, go subscribe to his channel. Go check out his first upload. It's the least we can do. We will get him a subscription tomorrow. I will do everything I can. Thank you, JD, for everything, man. Seriously, thank you for everything. No chill. Join the stream early tomorrow and I will join early and do it again. Dylan. Dylan, you too, man. I, I know I say it all the time and you know we we've talked off stream and just thank you. A thousand times thank you, man. This was a lot of fun for a ton of different reasons, but my god, if, if this is how we're gonna play with the membership stream, I might have to drop the price a little bit. <laughs> That's it, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you again to Everybody who donated and gifted memberships. Again, I, I'm fucking speechless. Shout out to Imanari for his 40th freaking win in mixed martial arts. 3 a.m. and we're just wrapping up, Ryzen. That's a beautiful thing. That's a beautiful thing. No, thank you, dude. One of the best nights I've had in a while. It was a blast. Eh? It was a lot of fun. Guys, no coffee, just water and good vibes. That's how you know. And the card delivered and my picks crushed it. So let's go. I'm giving up hope. But thank you, everyone, for trying. Let's fucking go see life. Dylan Ch uh, Chaken, Mr. Ground, JD, and Activate A. No chill. We will be back for KSW. Bellator PFL, UFC, ACA 171, and maybe even some boxing in an hour. <laughs> the same, it's 9 a.m. Gotta get my beauty sleep. Take care, everybody. Dylan, you'll get it eventually. No chill. Love you all. You all are amazing. I appreciate you all. Smash that like button and subscribe, and I will see you in a few hours for KSW. Peace. Yeah. Yeah. In the fiercest battle I